Chapter 3781, terrifying nine star heirs, one figure after another appeared. Their faces could not be seen, and their clothes were long gone. They were completely covered in lightning. Right now, overflowing battle intent raged out of them, causing the ten thousand Daos to cry out. One, two, three, the legends are true. There really were three thousand nine star heirs. Countless people outside the heavenly tribulation were stunned. Three thousand against one billion. Just how powerful are these three thousand? This heavenly tribulation is assured death, tribulation. A supreme expert cried out in terror. They had yet to even fight, but his confidence was already crushed by the undefeatable wills of the nine star heirs. The nine star heirs were said to be the strongest warriors of the nine heavens and ten lands. No one had seen the battle back then, but in a battle of people in the same realm, three thousand had dragged down one billion with them. That showed just how terrifying the nine star heirs were. Their terror exceeded people's understanding. Although the supreme experts had managed to kill the immemorial demonic beasts, they all knew that it was only because their flesh and blood were gone. Their runes had also withered, and they couldn't even unleash their most basic divine abilities. Their power was not even a single percentage point of their peak. If these immemorial demonic beasts in their peak were to descend, a single one of them could practically kill all of the supreme experts. However, a billion of such terrifying existences had been killed by just 3,009 star heirs. When everyone saw these lightning figures, they instantly despaired. They then looked at the lightning pillars in the surroundings. This was a prison now, and the cage was their fighting arena. The heavenly tribulation had trapped them to their deaths, refusing to let them pass. Suddenly, the world quivered. Runes lit up on the foreheads of these nine star heirs. When those runes appeared, their bodies quivered and killing intent exploded out of them. Kill! One of the nine star heirs roared and directly attacked one of the demonic beast experts. Oh, that demonic beast was long since prepared and took out a shield. When they clashed, both sides swayed and were forced back a few steps. Nine star heirs are only this level. It's just bragging when people say that they are the strongest warriors. Die. That supreme expert had been worried, but seeing that he managed to fight evenly against this nine star heir, his confidence soared. His blood kai erupted, and together with his shield, he smashed into the nine star heir like a shooting star. There's no need to be afraid. These nine star heirs have already lost their physical bodies. Only their wills have been replicated by the heavenly Daos, and their bodies are made entirely of lightning. That's the purest lightning essence. Kill them, shouted someone in the crowd. This person was precisely Wang Tianao, but he disguised himself as an expert of the demonic beast race. With this, People quickly understood why they couldn't see the faces of the nine star heirs. Just as Wang Tiao said, the nine star heirs had lost their physical bodies. Not even their bones remained. The heavenly Daos had replicated them, but their physical bodies were still lost. Thus, they weren't as powerful as everyone had expected. Seven star battle armor. However, a nine-star heir that had been knocked back roared, his voice shook people's souls. Seven stars then appeared behind him, forming a ring. When those stars appeared, a vast aura erupted, shattering this space. The nine-star heir let out a simple punch. Oh, the demonic beast charging at him was blown apart along with his shield. That shield had an immense origin and those immemorial demonic beasts before were unable to even shake it. But now, it was blown apart by this single punch. This group of experts was originally charging forward, wanting to kill the nine star heirs just like they had killed the immemorial demonic beasts and absorb their energy. But seeing this scene, they were dumbfounded. Kill! 
one ninth star air after another roared and charged in however of these three thousand nine star airs only a few hundred moved the rest were quivering seemingly struggling quick while they haven't fully awake kill them now or every one will die shouted wang tianhao he charged out attacking a nine star air oh, that nine star air let out a punch but wang tianhao's sword suddenly turned using some unknown movement art he avoided his punch while his lightning sword slashed the nine star air in the back of his head a piece of the nine star air's head was severed however he didn't die and punched behind him oh as a result wang tianhao was sent flying like a shooting star he smashed into one of the lightning pillars causing a huge explosion however he wasn't injured his body suddenly rushed toward a crack between two lightning pillars just like that he would escape this fighting arena however just as he tried a terrifying power sent him flying back even faster than when he was struck by the nine star air this action proved that there was no escape without annihilating all the nine star airs just as long chen was shocked one of the nine star airs activated the seven star battle armor and attacked him not daring to tarry long chen summoned his divine ring and battle armor as well he swung the Minghong saber with all his power. With a heaven-shaking explosion, Long Chen was shaken almost to the point of coughing up blood. He couldn't help being shocked. It had to be known that the Nine Star Hegemon body art focused on the power of the physical body. As the Nine Star heirs had lost their physical bodies, the Heavenly Daos only replicated their husks with thunder force, merging it into their remnant fighting spirit but they still possessed such terrifying power. Long Chen repeatedly blocked his attacks, which numbed his arm. Long Chen couldn't imagine just how powerful they were when they were alive. I'll have to offend you. After repeatedly blocking, Long Chen thrust the Minghong saber into the Nine Star Heir's heart. Lightning runes then sparkled, and Lei Linger immediately devoured those runes. However, the moment Lei Linger devoured those lightning runes, Long Chen felt immense pain throughout his body. It was as if his body was being stabbed by needles, and his insides felt like they were being flipped. His expression completely changed. He didn't know what it was, but he actually felt bad after she absorbed those lightning runes. Big Brother Long Chen, what is it? Lei Linger was startled. Lei Linger place the energy you just absorbed into a split body quick ordered long chen hastily lei linger immediately split off the energy she had just absorbed separating it from her main body that bad feeling instantly vanished just then kun tu also made his move however he was attacked by three nine star heirs one of them landed a punch on his back causing him to cough up blood he no longer had his old ease. It was the same for the underworld eye giant, Wang Tianao, the beast cultivator, and the others. They repeatedly coughed up blood and retreated. The weaker experts had it even worse. At this moment, one of the nine star heirs that had not moved from the start suddenly moved. However, he didn't attack anyone. Instead, he raised his head up to the sky. Do you think you can use the great nine star line? Break! That nine star air roared and seven stars revolved behind him. When he spread his arms, a seven star diagram appeared on both of his palms. The void then began to rumble and explode. A pair of giant hands shockingly manifested in the sky. After that, a giant tear appeared as if the nine heavens were being torn apart. Chapter 3782 On Our Side Two giant hands appeared within the nine heavens, and seven stars flowed on top of those palms. Heaven and earth quivered because of this pair of hands. They were like hands of the heavens, the hands that controlled this world. Even the heavenly tribulation was quivering uneasily. As the hands pulled, a giant tear appeared in the sky. 
the prison of lightning pillars also began to creak as if they had a consciousness they resisted the power of the hands and the two were in a deadlock it was an unbelievable phenomenon boom suddenly the giant lightning prison exploded transforming into a sea of lightning the heavenly tribulation was forcibly torn apart by those hands you dare to enslave the great nine star line who gave you the guts the nine star air's roar pierced through the world and it seemed to also pierce through the restrictions of space-time it was as if he was speaking from the past to the future just then kuntu coughed up blood once more he was being besieged by six nine star heirs even going all out he was forced back miserably even without physical bodies even though only their wills remained their replicas were still indomitable Kun Tu finally understood why three thousand nine star heirs could fight one billion beast venerates at the same cultivation base they were truly fierce however Kun Tu was also quite fierce going all out he gambled his life exchanging injury for injury he specifically targeted the pits of their stomachs and killed over ten of them after absorbing their lightning his aura grew crazily long chen was also in danger he was covered in blood after killing twenty seven nine star heirs what shocked long chen was that these nine star heirs didn't need any weapons they only used their fists or maybe their feet to attack every time they attacked seven stars would light up on their hands or feet with that support they could directly receive long chen's mingong saber causing his hand to bleed from the backlash the most difficult thing for long chen to endure was that every clash caused their thunder force to invade his body it was like oil being poured into his blood if it weren't for long chen's combat experience as well as lei linger helping him absorb that invading thunder force he'd have long since been killed senior what can i do is there any way for me to grow otherwise i'm going to be beaten watching kun to absorbing the thunder force and rapidly advancing as he fought long chen shouted in his mind however the dragon expert seemed to have vanished no matter how he shouted there was no response suddenly the speaking nine star air vanished when he reappeared he was in front of long chen seven stars revolved on his hand as he reached toward long chen long chen slashed his saber but it was easily caught by this hand his other hand reached for long chen's abdomen long chen's body was covered in scales but they might as well be paper in front of that hand the hand directly pierced long chen's body buzz jiang lei was shocked and immediately rushed over only to be kicked away by that ninth star air despite it clearly being a great distance away an invisible force sent jiang lei flying he grunted and then smashed into the ground leaving a giant hole he was covered in earth long chen was shocked and enraged killing intent exploded out of him and black runes appeared in his eyes he prepared to unleash the purgatory eyes a variant amongst the nine stars walking down the wrong path of the cultivation technique a weak physical body have the nine stars changed but my nine star line is now being hunted down like prey suddenly the nine star air spoke however his voice only rang out in long chen's mind but it was not spiritual communication that voice seemed to come from the feng fu star ah uh, the nine star air roared his violent killing intent soaring into the heavens that berserk power directly blew away the other nine star airs along with kun tu and the others how can this be how could this happen that nine star air seemed to go crazy long chen himself was buffeted by his furious power and blood poured out of his seven orifices his physical body was almost torn apart however long chen didn't activate the purgatory eyes feeling a sense of familiarity from this nine star air 
If this person recognized his status, he wouldn't harm him. Suddenly, that nine-star air quivered. He muttered, so that's the case. No wonder. As fellow nine-star heirs, you won't make things hard on me right, probed Long Chen. He also didn't speak. He tried to communicate with spiritual strength, as his status as a nine-star heir couldn't be exposed to the public. This nine-star heir slowly pulled out his hand, and Long Chen's body could move now. However, there was a large hole in his body where fresh blood poured out. It was a horrifying sight. Many Long Chen was about to thank him when multiple nine-star heirs appeared around him. They extended their hands, and lightning swords manifested. Countless lightning swords then stabbed through Long Chen's body. He instantly became a porcupine. Ah! Uh, even Long Chen couldn't help screaming in pain. This thunder force caused his essence blood to boil. It was a pain that he had never experienced before. Lei Linger helped him absorb the thunder force raging in his body. But there was too much, and she was only able to absorb a very small portion of it. The majority of it continued to wreak havoc throughout Long Chen's body. Release my boss. Just then, Jiang Lei came flying out, howling. He was covered in blood. That single kick had almost killed him. Despite that, seeing Long Chen in this state, he still came flying back. As a result, he was immediately surrounded by over ten nine-star heirs. Each of them stabbed a lightning sword into his body, turning him into a porcupine as well. These nine-star heirs were unbeatable. Jiang Lei, don't be afraid. They are on our side. Long Chen transmitted to Jiang Lei. Even though he was screaming in pain, his mind was still clear. Jiang Lei was also screaming. This thunder force being injected into his body seemed to be trying to blow him up. The essence blood of the beast venerates within his body was being burned by the thunder force. His meridians were burning. Although he was in immense pain, he found that as this essence blood was burned away, his meridians were rapidly widening. As the flames burned, he was absorbing their energy. After that, the impurities were erased by the thunder force, once more purifying his essence blood. Your physical body is too weak, so we can only help you do this much. Brother, you have to grow up faster. Don't lose the face of the nine-star line. After saying this, all the nine-star airs suddenly exploded, transforming into lightning runes that scattered throughout heaven and earth. Chapter 3783, pretending to be a pig to eat the tiger, all the nine-star airs transformed into lightning runes. At the next moment, a lightning dragon opened its mouth and devoured all of the ones near Long Chen. At the same time, Kun Tu and the others absorbed the lightning runes left by the nine star heirs that had attacked them. When the tribulation started, there were countless heavenly geniuses from various races. Now, fewer than five hundred remained. Furthermore, the majority were not from the demonic beast race. The experts from other races were actually the majority. The moment the nine star heirs exploded, everyone's aura grew explosively, causing the world to change color. When the heavenly tribulation was over, there were no longer divine lords in sight. They all finally became true immortal kings. Due to just advancing, their auras were flowing out. Violent power raged, scrubbing against heaven and earth. These people quickly fought over the remaining thunder force. Suddenly, they eyed the lightning dragon behind Long Chen. It was because the majority of the nine star heirs had attacked Long Chen at the end, and the thunder force was all absorbed by Lei Linger. Their eyes turned red with greed when looking at her. This thunder force had a heaven defying effect. Whether it was Kun Tu, the underworld eye giant, or the other experts, they all felt that their bodies had strengthened to an unbelievable extent after the tempering of the thunder force. It could be said that they had all benefited from Long Chen. Such a heavenly tribulation 
had never appeared before. The benefits were unimaginable. When they saw Lay Linger absorbing all of this lightning, they didn't hesitate. They directly charged over. Kun Tu spread his wings and tore through space. He was the fastest. His sharp claws attacked Long Chen, as he could see that the lightning dragon was Long Chen's pet. As long as he killed Long Chen, it would be possible to make the lightning dragon his. Long Chen sneered. He swung the Mingong saber, only for his expression to change midway. How can this be? Long Chen had ample spiritual Yuan left. Having entered the immortal king realm, his spiritual Yuan was tens of times greater than before. However, he was shocked to find that the blood Kai in his meridians was down to less than a tenth. Oh! Long Chen's saber clashed with Kan Tu's claw. As a result, Long Chen was sent flying. Just as he was sent flying, Kan Tu's other claw tore through the void. It was this second attack that was his killing blow. However, Kan Tu hadn't expected that after becoming an immortal king, Long Chen would suddenly become weak. His probing fate ended up sending Long Chen flying, while his true killing blow ended up missing. Die! As Long Chen flew back, the space behind him suddenly quivered. Lightning appeared, condensing into a figure. A lightning sword then thundered toward Long Chen. Wang Tianhao! Wang Tianhao had finally made his move. His speed was not much slower than Kun Tu's, and his sword caused the heavenly Daos to collapse. This sword contained the power to destroy heaven and earth. Having entered the immortal king realm, Wang Tianhao had completely transformed. He was a hundred times stronger than when he was a divine lord. Clearly, he had benefited immensely from this tribulation. Long Chen was shocked and enraged. He couldn't help being startled. Did those nine star heirs intentionally harm him? Otherwise, why was he so weak? Where did his essence blood energy go? Boom. Long Chen stamped on the ground, turning and narrowly avoiding this sword. Just then, Kun Tu returned. But what welcomed him was Wang Tianhao's sword. The lightning sword met sharp claws, followed by exploding blood Kai and Thunder Force. It was possible to see the void fracture inch by inch instantly spreading thousands of miles away. The other experts rushing over were struck by those ripples and blown back. Wang Tianhao's full power attack shocked countless people. The heavenly lightning body's reputation is not for nothing. However, it is not enough to enter my eyes. If you're smart, you'll scram right now. Lightning flickered on top of Kun Tu's claws. However, it was quickly suppressed by his blood Kai. Heavenly Tribulation Lightning was unable to suppress him. You're the one who should scram. Long Chen's life is mine. If you dare to ruin my affairs, I'll kill you too. Wang Tianhao was no longer as sinister as before. Instead, he was filled with arrogance. Even in front of Kun Tu, he had no intention of backing down. Since you want to die, I'll kill you too. Kun Tu roared and his giant Kun manifestation quivered. Blood Kai then exploded with such power that the very world felt like it was collapsing, as if it couldn't contain him. Boom! Kun Tu's fist struck, sealing all the space around Wang Tianhao. He didn't rely on any tricks. He wanted to decide life and death in just a few moves. I'll be the one killing you. I'll teach you the power of my violent lightning empire's inherited manifestation. Lightning towers shakes heaven and earth. Wang Tianhao shouted, and a giant tower appeared behind him. The tower had thirteen levels, and every level seemed to be suppressing a powerful beast. Thunder Force then poured out of the tower, illuminating Wang Tianhao with divine light. When lightning chains wrapped around him, his aura instantly soared by several times. Boom! Wang Tianhao's wild blade rumbled. As he slashed this sword, a wave of lightning runes crashed down, creating a giant flood of lightning. Two world-shaking powers clashed. This little fellow is quite sinister. 
he has been pretending to be a pig to devour the dragon all this time seeing wang tianhao's full power attack long chen was shocked this fellow was actually incredibly powerful not at all inferior to kun tu kun tu and wang tianhao both coughed up blood they were both injured by the other boss save me suddenly jang lei cried out he was being pressed by one of the demonic beast race's supreme experts to the point of not being able to retaliate Boom. Long Chen rushed over and slashed the Ming Ong saber. The supreme expert was horrified, thinking that he was going to die. But unexpectedly, this attack was not as terrifying as he had expected. It only forced him back, and he wasn't even injured. Boss, what is going on? How did I become so weak? Jiang Lei was bewildered. Just like Long Chen, Despite his realm increasing and his spiritual yuan growing explosively, his blood kai was pretty much empty. I don't know either, but we can't continue like this. If we can't even kill an ordinary person, there's no fighting. We're leaving. Long Chen was also stifled, having no idea what was going on. Want to leave? Leave your life behind as well. Just as Long Chen was about to move, Wang Tianhao transformed into a bolt of lightning blocking his path. He slashed his sword. Fuck, do I really have to use the purgatory eyes? Long Chen clenched his teeth. He tore off his eye batch. Big brother Long Chen, leave it to me. Suddenly, Lei Linger appeared in front of Long Chen. In front of Wang Tianhao's incoming attack, she demanded, aren't you going to come? After that, Wing Tianhao's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. The wild blade in his hand vanished, and most terrifying of all, it reappeared in Lei Linger's hand. With the wild blade in hand, Lei Linger attacked Wing Tianhao. Chapter 3784 Double Dragon Destruction Wing Tianhao was shocked and enraged, unable to understand what was happening. How did the ancestral divine weapon of his Wang family suddenly end up in Lei Linger's hands? As the wild blade slashed at him, an ancient tower appeared in his hand. It was the exact same tower as the one in his manifestation. Boom. The wild blade struck the tower, causing lightning to explode. Lightning then condensed into spears piercing through heaven and earth. That sight horrified countless people. All of a sudden, Lei Linger formed a hand seal with her left hand. Upon seeing that seal, Wang Tianhao's expression completely changed. Ew. The wild blade suddenly rumbled as if it was coming to life. A ray of divine light then shot out of its tip at Wang Tianhao. With no time to dodge, Wang Tianhao was struck by that light and exploded. Within the lightning runes that filled the air, a fist-sized golden human appeared. Death substitute puppet. When they saw that tiny figure, people jumped in shock. Some people didn't cultivate clones, but as a life-saving measure, they would refine a puppet to take their place in death at a critical juncture. However, it was extremely difficult to create such a thing, and it needed years of nourishment from the essence blood and soul of the true body. A normal person wouldn't bother with such a thing, but it could save a person's life when they needed it. A person could only have a single death substitute puppet at a time. After it was used, it would take years to raise another one. Wang Tianhao would not have used it unless he had absolutely no other choice. Now that he had, it meant that this last attack could have taken his life. No. How can you use the wild blade's soul-severing art? shouted Wang Tianhao furiously. Starting today, the wild blade is mine. Naturally, I can use all of its abilities. Do you want to try the wild blade's killer move? Lei Linger pointed the wild blade at Wang Tianhao coldly. Bitch! Upon hearing that, Wang Tianhao's expression grew exceedingly ugly. He suddenly spat out blood and formed hand seals. This blood then transformed into countless runes. Wild Blade Return 
he was using the blood sacrifice art of the wild blade the wild blade was the violet lightning empire's ancestral divine weapon and generations of experts had left a bloodline mark on it his bloodline could forcibly call it back however he was infuriated to find that there was no reaction Leylinger smiled your Wang family's bloodline mark was a slave seal to the wild blade it has long since started to hate you guys while you were using it to absorb the heavenly tribulations energy i discussed everything with it i used my core energy to help it escape its bindings and now it will fight alongside me no matter how much essence blood you ignite it's useless you treated it as a slave so it hates you suddenly the wild blade swung behind lay linger the underworld eye giant had been creeping toward long chen and was accurately struck head on he coughed up blood and flew into the distance long chen and jang lay were both shocked the current lay linger possessed absolutely astonishing power she could destroy heaven and earth with just a wave of her hand most importantly her attack now contained an undefeatable will that was somewhat similar to the nine star airs just looking at her was enough to shake people's hearts making them lose confidence a little lightning spirit also dares to be arrogant kuntu came flying over his wings covered the heavens and a monstrous fish mark appeared on his claws he attacked long chen lei linger and jang lei together it's the power of a seal long chen's expression changed this attack was not ordinary it seemed to be an attack specialized for an existence like lei linger long chen didn't dare to be careless against the kunpeng race's divine abilities but all of a sudden huo linger appeared by lei linger's side the two of them then exchanged a glance and smile lei linger wielded the wild blade while huo linger wielded the true fire sword double dragon destruction lei linger and huo linger attacked together and crossed their swords when violet lightning and white flames mixed all sounds seemed to fade from this world all colors faded into gray at this moment the apocalyptic power of heavenly tribulation energy mixed with the heavenly flame energy of the ice soul space-time began to twist and collapse because of their power the entire world's laws were shaken and the ten thousand dows quivered kuntu's expression completely changed he had never witnessed such a terrifying power before it had to be known that the current lay linger had absorbed the power of all the nine star heirs so her thunder force had risen to an unimaginable level as for huo linger she had been absorbing the flame energy within this tribulation lightning the entire time this pure energy helped her to rapidly climb as well as the master of the ice soul she was capable of using the power of the eighth rank heavenly flame that was a flame that could truly break the order of heaven and earth hence when the two of them unleashed their full power kun tu's hair instantly stood on end a terrifying threat of death made his soul quiver and he directly abandoned his attack his body rapidly retreated with folded wings in front of him divine runes then flowed on top of his wings forming a barrier the giant kun manifestation behind him grew enveloping him and adding another barrier in front of his wings this was his strongest defense Boom. Lei Linger and Huo Linger spun together and smashed into it. As a result, the giant Kun manifestation instantly exploded. Following that, his wings were also torn through and blood rained down. What? Seeing this, people couldn't believe their eyes. Lei Linger and Huo Linger's attack shattered the Kun manifestation and pierced his wings before striking his claws. In the end, Kun Tu's claws were split open, and he was sent flying into the distance. He vanished without a trace, his aura gone. It was unknown if he was dead or alive. After seeing that, everyone was horrified. Just how powerful was Kun Tu? 
it could be said that he was the strongest person here but even he had been defeated miserably he's quite powerful he's still not dead said laylinger somewhat bitterly it would be best if he wasn't killed leave him alive i still have a use for him only then did long chen recover from his shock and smile attack together now is the best time to kill long chen suddenly wang tianhao came charging back shouting at the others the others had also noticed the problem with long chen he had to rely entirely on lei linger and huo linger to fight now however huo linger had vanished and lei linger's aura was weakened this truly was the best time to kill him the underworld eye giant the beast cultivator and the others all attacked however long chen only looked at them and sneered wang tianhao thank you for your wild blade look after that tower in your hand i'll be taking it next time suddenly long chen crushed a talisman spatial energy then wrapped around long chen and jang lei transporting the two of them away instantly wang tianhao's attack missed he looked around but couldn't find a trace of long chen so he let out a furious roar just then kun tu reappeared he was covered in blood and filled with killing intent however he was one step too late long chen was already gone you idiot you ruined everything die kun tu roared furiously and directly attacked wang tianhao it's all because of you idiot you're the one who interfered just wait in the future i'll kill any demonic beasts that i see having lost the wild blade and sacrificed a great deal of essence blood to try calling it back wang tianhao didn't wish to fight it was because although kun tu was injured there were still a large number of demonic beast experts here as there was no point in fighting now wang tianhao transformed into a streak of lightning and fled the other experts from other races also scattered if they stayed they wouldn't just have to deal with kun tu and the other demonic beasts here there were also the divine venerates outside as a result they scattered in an instant the heavenly river blood sea was gone the bones were gone the heavenly tribulations rampage had turned this into a land of absolute death the burial ground for one billion beast venerates was no more no one back then would have imagined that millions and millions of years later countless heavenly geniuses would undergo heavenly tribulation here resulting in these ancient corpses losing even their bones they were all transformed into specks of dust chapter three thousand seven hundred eighty five primal chaos era's dragon scale long chen couldn't be bothered with saving his transportation talismans and directly used seventeen of them only once they were truly far from the heavenly river blood si did he and jang lei begin flying on their own fortunately after becoming an immortal king long chen's spiritual perception was far stronger than before he could sense the holes in the encirclement of the demonic beasts so he directly escaped without a trace otherwise they would have been noticed by the divine venerates and then it would have been dangerous however long chen was extremely disappointed with his advancement to the immortal king realm this time other than his spiritual ewing growing immensely he didn't sense much of a change otherwise senior are you still there what is going on asked long chen he couldn't help calling out to the dragon expert this heavenly tribulation had truly been a mess don't panic everything is within expectations there are many places to undergo a tribulation in the three thousand worlds but the reason i had you undergo tribulation there is to prepare for what is coming replied the dragon expert in the end preparation i had you absorb the essence blood of those beast venerates in order to widen your meridians you have gone off the original path of the nine star hegemon body art walking your own path furthermore you only have the most basic nine star hegemon body art lacking the corresponding battle skills 
thus you are far weaker than those nine star heirs from the immemorial era said the dragon expert senior you you know the secrets of the nine star hegemon body art long chen hadn't expected this but of course however you shouldn't ask any questions that you shouldn't i won't answer it is because your ninth star hegemon body art has gone down different paths that your fate has changed but who can say whether this change is for good or bad in any case there's no going back since you have chosen to change it you can only continue down this path i have helped you pave a path but i also can't see the end of this path you should be mentally prepared said the dragon expert senior don't worry this life of mine was saved by you even if i die on this path i won't blame you in the slightest promised long chen i have only paved the slightest bit of this path by using the essence blood of one billion demonic beasts to widen your meridians furthermore the nine star heirs then used the power of the heavenly tribulation to completely purify those essence bloods this is why you feel like your current blood kai is so deficient in truth your dragon blood energy has not weakened but your meridians are over ten times wider so you feel like it is severely deficient explained the dragon expert through this explanation long chen realized that it was precisely as the dragon expert said it wasn't that his blood kai was weak but that his meridians were shockingly wide when he circulated his blood kai he felt like the channels were empty making him feel weak it seemed that after the essence blood of those demonic beasts fulfilled their purpose the ninth star heirs directly erased it his meridians were then further widened by the tribulation's energy and they also grew tougher senior this is the preparation for absorbing your essence blood asked long chen suddenly comprehending it correct without powerful meridians there is no way for you to merge with my essence blood even with your physical body your odds of success were less than ten percent furthermore i know how proud you are you will not accept defeat and would throw your life away on it anyway widening your meridians is not just for merging with my essence blood your astral energy and violet kai all need stronger meridians to control if you wish to summon the seven star battle armor without tough enough meridians the power of your stars will directly blow you up how will you fight then hearing that long chen had the urge to slap himself how could he have been so foolish as to not think of this step in order to be safe long chen directly returned to the spirit races territory as soon as he arrived the spirit races leader personally came to welcome him long chen then said that he needed a place to enter seclusion the spirit races leader directly transported him to a secluded place deep within the spirit races territory long chen then had jiang li consume some pills to stabilize his realm and absorb the energy of heaven and earth he could circulate his thunder force as blood kai within his meridians that way he would acquire a heavenly lightning body jiang lei was delighted by that he had relied too much on his blood kai before and hadn't thought of this he immediately entered seclusion just like jiang lei long chen had also not thought of this seeing jiang lei's worshipful expression long chen had the urge to dig a hole for himself when you condensed your battle armor before you did it forcefully now you can draw the violet kai of your starry sea into your meridians using the seven star battle armor should be easier that way long chen formed hand seals and violet kai slowly floated out of his one hundred eight thousand stars when they entered his meridians his body quivered he felt endless power rising within him this violet kai is even stronger than my blood kai long chen was delighted when this violet kai poured through his meridians he felt endless power fuck if i had thought of this why would i have needed to run i'd have directly killed them all 
sensing the power of his violet kai when it circulated through his meridians long chen felt a burst of regret why hadn't he thought of this back then he hadn't thought of using his violet kai this way with this ample violet kai violet mist began to appear around his body with every wave of his hand heaven and earth quivered it was as if the laws of the ten thousand daos were under his control don't get too happy even with your meridians widened they still aren't tough enough there is still the danger of dying to my essence blood before this your chance of success was only ten percent now it is at most fifty percent to put it frankly you could die as well said the dragon expert dumping a basin of ice water over long chen's head your essence blood is really that terrifying long chen gasped a dragon cane was equivalent to the human race's immortal king realm they were in the same realm if it really was as the dragon expert said then just how terrifying was this existence when i became a dragon king it was still the primal chaos era the laws of heaven and earth were complete and spiritual kai was overflowing back then but your era is different furthermore when i became a dragon king i swept across all those before me showing an overwhelming brilliance my arrogance soared beyond the clouds so that dragon scale contains my haughty will from back then when the scale fell from my body it produced its own consciousness even i cannot forcibly make it lower its head thus if you want to subdue you need a powerful will as well as powerful meridians to contain the essence blood when it comes to the will i'm not worried about you but your meridians are still lacking quite a bit compared to me from back then i'm worried that your body will explode thus you should first use your violet kite and astral energy to once more widen your meridians before they are fully set once you have widened them to the limit condense the seven star battle armor and widen them again if you can reach the level that i expect you should have a ninety per cent chance of subduing my dragon scale said the dragon expert hearing all of this long chen was dumbfounded he had always been very confident in himself however this confidence was badly battered by the dragon expert's words long chen clenched his teeth and took a deep breath he began to use his full power to widen his meridians he knew that he would fully transform this time in the three thousand worlds no wonder the dragon expert had not mentioned using his violet kai to widen his meridians before its goal was for long chen to gain the power of its physical body and crush kun tu with just that physical strength kun tu just wait as soon as he thought of kun tu's haughty appearance long chen had the urge to beat him up after forming hand seals long chen's starry sea quivered astral energy poured through his meridians chapter three thousand seven hundred eighty six an unexpected surprise violet kai poured through long chen's meridians his meridians were starting to bulge and continue widening before they have fully settled while they still have the remnant energy that the nine star airs transmitted to you widen them as much as possible it is now possible for you to condense the seven stars that is equivalent to having seven dancions but your meridians do not match your seven dancions in the future if you are fighting all out you will be able to fight for many hours you will look as if you have immense endurance a normal person would view this as the most dependable fighting style but in truth this is your fatal weakness a true killing blow instantly sucks up the majority of a person's energy that is a true trump card such a killing blow must be fierce and give the other side little time to prepare in the past when you unleashed your ultimate moves against your enemies it looked powerful but in my eyes it was the fighting of a fool in true combat one move decides life and death just like when your human race plays chess they are fighting for the initiative when you are unleashing an ultimate attack 
If the other side reacts slightly too slow, victory or defeat will be decided. Powerful meridians are the gambling chips. You need to fight for that initiative. There have been many times in the past when you spent too long accumulating energy, resulting in you missing many chances to kill your opponents. You could only clash with them like barbarians smashing each other with sticks. Even if you did win, you exhausted yourself. The competition of the martial path is one where you use the smallest price to defeat the strongest opponent. That is the King Dao. For example, in this tribulation, even if you defeated Kun Tu, you would still be killed by the others afterward. And even if you didn't die to them, you would fall into the hands of the demonic beasts outside. However, this can't be blamed on you. You are a human, and your physical body is limited. Furthermore, your nine-star hegemon body art is incomplete. You also don't have a true master to guide you. That made you unable to see your fatal weakness. Now that you finally have a heaven-defying chance, cherish it. The widening limit of your meridians will determine your future, warned the dragon expert sternly. I understand. Many thanks, senior. Long Chen was instantly enlightened. It was no wonder he always felt that no matter how strong he was, even if he had energy overflowing out of him, he was unable to put it to good use. The problem was his meridians. Just as the dragon expert said, this was a heaven-defying opportunity, a chance to change his fate. He had to grasp it. Long Chen had his violet kai push against his meridians as hard as he could. It was like they were inflating and swelling. They were already wider than before. But after two hours, he started feeling a sharp pain in his meridians. Cracks instantly appeared in his meridians. However, he didn't panic. The remnant energy within his meridians caused them to rapidly heal. At the same time, without Long Chen calling it, the energy of the primal chaos space poured in like a sea, healing his outer injuries and strengthening his meridians, increasing their toughness. The energy within his meridians was bestowed upon him by the nine star heirs. Without the dragon expert's reminder, he wouldn't have even noticed. When Long Chen thought of how that one nine-star heir had torn apart the dome of the heavens with just his hands, breaking the restrictions of the heavenly Tao's arrogantly, he felt a burst of pain. Even such a hero had been destroyed by the long river of history. No one knew just how strong they were back then. Although they had died countless years ago, their heaven-defying wills remained. The heavenly Tao's replicated them, but they still tore through the battlefield that the heavenly Daos had made for them with their bare hands. Just how domineering was that? As a fellow nine-star heir, Long Chen felt shame. He felt like he had lost face for the nine-star heirs. Nine-star heirs shouldn't be as weak as him. Once his meridians were fully healed, he once more poured violet kai through them, widening them. After he widened them three times, his starry sea quivered. The violet kai from his starry sea kept pushing. His meridians once more reached the limit. Thankfully, the nine star heirs had left him with immense energy. His meridians quickly repaired themselves. Long Chen was already out of violet kai, though. After that, he directly sent his astral energy pouring through his meridians. Long Chen clenched his teeth. When his astral energy entered his meridians, sharp pain racked his body. That pain was even greater when the nine star heirs stabbed his body with their lightning swords and incinerated the essence blood of the beast venerates. What is going on? The intense pain caused Long Chen's expression to change. Veins throbbed on his forehead, and his eyes almost popped out of their sockets. It was like he might explode at any moment. How unexpected. Starry spots have appeared in your meridians. I don't know if it is because your nine stars have started to change or if the nine star heirs intentionally left something to you. But it seems that your life isn't in danger. Endure it. It should be beneficial. 
said the dragon expert after pondering it. And der, that was putting it lightly. Even with his pain tolerance, Long Chen was unable to endure. Boom! Long Chen suddenly started rolling and directly pierced a mountain peak in the distance. Jiang Lei jumped in shock. He was about to check on Long Chen when Long Chen stopped him. Star like spots appeared on his meridians, and astral energy was constantly pouring into his body. It was no longer under his control. Ah! Uh, Long Chen screamed. The entire mountain range collapsed. Long Chen suddenly stamped on the air and shot into the clouds. His fists began to randomly strike the air. Every attack caused an ear piercing explosion and ripples appeared as the void was repeatedly blasted apart. It was like the heavens were being beaten. Long Chen felt like he was going insane. He had never experienced such pain before. It was like his 108,000 stars were branding themselves on his meridians. He could only randomly shoot out this astral energy. That was the only way to feel slightly better. Boom, boom, boom. Long Chen's attacks gradually slowed down, but every attack caused cracks to spread throughout the sky, as if the world was being shattered. Boss, what's going on? If you had this power, why didn't you kill Kun Tu and the others? Jiang Lei watched in astonishment as Long Chen went crazy. As Long Chen repeatedly swung his fists, starry spots appeared on top of them as well. His power continued to increase, but his mind grew more and more chaotic. Suddenly, Long Chen's fist pierced through the wall of space and a giant black hole appeared. Long Chen was devoured by that black hole without even being aware of it. Jiang Lei then cried out and started rushing over to save him. Fortunately, a golden vine appeared and dragged Long Chen out of the black hole. When Long Chen was dragged out, he was already unconscious. His mind descended into endless darkness. Chapter 3787 Power of Four Stars Closer and Closer An ancient voice rang out within the darkness. What is getting closer and closer? asked Long Chen. This was the same mysterious voice that appeared every time he descended into darkness. Distance, danger, truth, hope, that mysterious voice grew indistinct. Long Chen barely heard a few words, but he suddenly woke up. Boss, Jiang Lei cried out in delight when he saw Long Chen wake up. Long Chen found that other than Jiang Lei, a kindly elder was present as well. He was the leader of the spirit race within the three thousand worlds. Many thanks for saving me, senior. Long Chen hastily rose and bowed. Nothing more than waving a hand. My power is limited, and I could not fully heal your injuries. You will need to rest a few days, said the elder before leaving. Only then did Long Chen notice Violet Kai raging within his body, and endless stars circulating. Raising his hand, he felt explosive power flowing within him. It felt like a single wave of his hand could break the dome of the heavens. This is the power I should possess after becoming an immortal king. Long Chen now felt that his power had increased by over ten times compared to when he underwent tribulation. It had been a long time since he felt his power growing so explosively. The most shocking thing to him was that there was now a green layer of energy on top of his meridians that was slowly healing the tears. You have to thank that little fellow. He sacrificed his own longevity to split some of his source divine elixir to help you recover. Otherwise, your injuries wouldn't heal without at least a month. Most importantly, his immemorial spirit wisteria race has a certain affinity with your violet kai. At the same time as he helped you recover, he once more widened your meridians. With this, your meridians are finally tough enough and can endure the necessary power. Your meridians are now even a bit stronger than I anticipated, said the dragon expert. Long Chen was startled. He was befuddled as to why the spirit race's leader would go so far for him. 
He was grateful, but also felt guilty and uneasy. However, for such a great favor, just a simple thanks was meaningless. He promised himself that he would repay the spirit race. Senior, how many places are there to undergo tribulation within the three thousand worlds? Why is it that I didn't see many humans in the heavenly river blood sea? asked Long Chen. He was originally hoping to find a few dragon blood warriors there to undergo tribulation with, but he didn't encounter a single one. There are over ten places like the heavenly river blood sea in the three thousand worlds. As for slightly inferior places, there are countless. In truth, the heavenly river blood sea isn't suitable for the human race to undergo tribulation, so naturally not many humans would take the risk of going. I only had you go as preparation for the dragon scale. The others definitely went to other places, said the dragon expert. Only then did Long Chen relax about the dragon blood warriors. If that was the case, he could definitely still find the others. Otherwise, the supreme heavenly Tao fruits on the heavenly Tao tree would go to waste. Currently, he had over ten thousand of them. However, the number was a bit odd. During the tribulation, there were tens of thousands of supreme heavenly geniuses who died. However, Long Chen barely had over ten thousand. He didn't know if it was because they had been too far for the heavenly Tao tree to sense them when they died, or if only a portion could be absorbed by the heavenly Tao tree. Long Chen continued to recover. Thanks to the spirit race's leader helping him, his recovery was extremely quick. In a single day, his meridians were fully healed. As for Jiang Lei, his power had also grown explosively. Using the approach that Long Chen gave him, he no longer had such powerful blood kai. Instead, the thunder force in his danshan had replaced the blood kai flowing through his meridians. Jiang Lei had benefited from the nine star airs just like Long Chen, and his meridians were over ten times wider and filled with thunder force. At this moment, lightning runes flickered in his eyes. His aura was astonishing. He was a truly terrifying lightning cultivator now. Jiang Lei was incredibly excited by this. By himself, all of his work had still left him below average within the cultivation world. But in just a few days with Long Chen, he had soared to the peak. Although he might not say that he was unrivaled, only very few people could match him within the same realm. After they recovered, Long Chen bade farewell to the spirit race's leer. Now that he had recovered, he should search for his comrades. It would be best to distribute the supreme heavenly Tao fruits now, or once the three thousand worlds closed, there would no longer be such a chance. As for the spirit race leader's help, Long Chen didn't say thanks. He simply said that the spirit race's matters were his matters, and if they ever needed any help, just ask. At the time he was leaving, he found that the spirit race's experts had also vanished. He didn't know if they had also gone to undergo tribulations or if they had simply left. He didn't ask. Seven Star Battle Armor Feng Fu Star Aliath Star Lai Fate Star Enlightenment Palace Star Within a desolate wilderness, Long Chen's seven-color divine ring revolved. One star after another lit up and every star caused his aura to grow crazily. When he summoned four stars, the world began to quiver. The explosive power caused huge spatial distortions. The seven-star divine ring's light was like a sword piercing the heavens. It was a shocking scene. It's been three days. Four stars is the limit. If I activate five stars, I'll need to release some of my aura. Long Chen had seven stars flowing within his divine ring, but only four stars were lit. The other three were dim. However, even just four stars is no weaker than the complete six-star battle armor from the past. After sensing the immense power in his body, Long Chen smiled. The dragon expert was right. The seven-star battle armor was too powerful. Without powerful meridians, 
he couldn't control it. However, even now that his meridians were strengthened, it still wasn't enough to summon the complete seven-star battle armor. He couldn't even summon the fifth star. His body had yet to adapt to this unprecedented power. Forcibly activating it would cause some of his power to be wasted, leaking into the world. If that was the case, although it would give off a frightening explosive aura, its power wasn't concentrated. There wasn't much point to that. It was just like the current of a river. The flow was limited normally. But once the dam was released, there would be a flood that could shatter mountains. The destructive powers between the two were completely different. Hee hee, it should be ten to fifteen days. Then my body will adapt to this new power. By then will I need to fear those animals. Long Chen laughed. He had completely transformed and was no longer afraid of anyone. Two days later, Long Chen and Jiang Lei arrived at a large human city. Just as they reached the city gates, they heard someone beating drums and gongs as well as shouting. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Monayan. Of Chapter 3788 Monayan's Intentions This rascal even came here. Long Chen and Jiang Lei saw two supreme experts wrapped in chains. One was beating the drums, and the other was beating a gong. Both their expressions were so ugly as if they were mourning their mothers. But they still broke their throats shouting. Countless people looked at them oddly as if they were crazy. They were like convicts and didn't even dare to look at anyone. They just struck the gong and drum as they shouted. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Monayan. These two supreme experts spread their voices far and wide. Long Chen noticed that as they shouted, the strange runes on the chains binding them would dim ever so slightly. Countless people pointed at them and whispered amongst themselves. They all felt it to be strange. These two didn't look like crazy people. Sensing their auras, they just underwent their tribulations and became immortal kings. Did the heavenly tribulation break their heads? People looked at them oddly. Those chains weren't piercing their bodies. They were very loose and could easily be thrown aside, but the two of them continued to stay in them. They just continued to beat the gong and drum like idiots, repeating that strange verse. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Monayan. Finally, after saying it again, the runes on their chains vanished. They fell from their bodies, and the two of them looked as if they had been freed from a prison sentence. If we do it three more times, it's over. Let's start now, said one of them. Fuck. The other expert didn't have his restraint. It seemed that he wanted to unleash all his anger, so he punched his drum with all his power. As a result, the drum exploded. The other person's expression changed, but before he could say anything, the chains that had just fallen from them once more tightened around their bodies. The chains instantly became covered in runes. At the same time, a black rune appeared on their foreheads. Terrifying death kai came from those two runes, causing everyone around them to jump. You idiot! Mo Nyan said that after repeating it ten thousand times, we have to beat the gong and drum again in order to remove the curse. Now look at what you've done. You destroyed the drum. We'll never be free from the curse. Go fuck yourself. The other expert roared like he had gone insane and directly punched that person in the head. That person seemed to also feel immense regret and anger for his actions, and his reaction was a bit slower. As a result, he was directly killed. The other experts watching jumped in shock. How could he kill his own comrade like that? That guy was also startled. He had only been angry 
and hadn't been trying to kill his comrade. Unexpectedly, it was just because of a lack of defense. It seemed that the comrade's condition was weird as well. Uh, no, that guy's expression suddenly changed. He thought of something exceedingly terrifying. Suddenly, the death kai swirled around him. After that, his flesh began to rot, and his aura of life faded away. His body turned to dust in just a moment, leaving everyone horrified. Who were they? What did they do? Who did they offend? They mentioned Mo Nyan in that verse of theirs. It was probably that person who forced them to do this. As people discussed things, Long Chen walked over and took a look. He looked at the dust they had transformed into and suddenly picked up the gong. This gong didn't look to have anything special about it. But there was a strange round part at the very center. Long Chen rapped it a few times. The sound was a bit off. It was hollow. Long Chen then punched apart the gong and a fist-sized item fell to the ground. It was a compass. Damn, this fellow actually has such means. It seemed that in the violet flame heaven, those people also had this thing in their gongs. It's too bad that I didn't think of it. Long Chan only came to understand when he looked at the compass in his hand. The needle spun a few times in his hand before finally settling in one direction. He wants to reunite. Long Chen smiled. Looking at the compass, it felt like he could see Mo Nian's mischievous smile. Put down that compass. Suddenly, a group of people walked out of the ground. Three of them were supreme immortal kings. Judging by their auras, they had just undergone tribulation. The experts present had seen everything. Seeing Long Chen pick something out of the gong, they immediately thought that he had obtained some treasure. This location was outside the city, and they had numbers, so they directly came to rob him. Kill them. I don't need anyone left behind, said Long Chen indifferently, not even looking at them. Jiang Lei's lightning sword was already flying out of its sheath. Thunder rumbled, and that group of over ten experts were covered by this single attack. Jiang Lei's meridians had been widened by the nine star airs. He was now capable of instantly unleashing his peak power. Boom! Lightning devoured this region. People only saw lightning and nothing else. Just like that, those experts, including the three supreme experts, were instantly killed. Their weapons fell to the ground, the lightning faded, leaving behind only a ditch. Jiang Lei gathered the weapons. These were all powerful weapons, as the weaker weapons had been destroyed along with their owners. When Jiang Lei sheathed his sword, the lightning vanished. His expression was so calm as if nothing had happened. In truth, Jiang Lei had been itching to fight. His powerful meridians were able to endure a greater force, so he didn't need to slowly unleash power bit by bit to avoid injuring his meridians. They were now giant channels capable of instantly unleashing his power. In a life-and-death fight, he would be able to unleash all his power without hesitation in just a few moves. If he had wanted to kill those supreme experts before, he would have needed some effort due to his meridians not being strong enough. Now, he instantly unleashed 80% of his power. As for the other side, they were barely capable of unleashing 50%. Furthermore, their haste caused their power to drop. That was why Jiang Lei could so easily kill them in one move without any special technique. This move shook everyone else. Previously, quite a few people had been eyeing the compass. But now, they didn't even dare to make a sound. Let's go meet up with Mo Nian. Long Chen clenched the compass and laughed. He was full of anticipation. Chapter 3789 Slapped to Death Long Chen is here. Are there any friends or enemies who wish to meet me? Long Chen entered the city and shouted, backing it with his spiritual yuan to spread it throughout every corner of the city. This shout irritated countless people. This human city had human rules. 
it was not permitted to make such a ruckus in the city or the offender would be disrespecting the city lord even the divine venerates from the other races wouldn't be so rude when they came here shouting like that would cause a fight all too easily who dares to shout in my city are you not placing my kingian city in your eyes do you think a bit of ability is enough to not give face to any one multiple human divine venerates were drawn out by long chen's shout there were also other divine venerates who turned their heads to watch just like other human settlements kingian city had several experts from other races present they liked watching the human race's liveliness face it's not that I'm not giving you face. But if I give too much face, dogs will think of themselves as lions, said Long Chen coldly. You, you're courting death, shouted one of the divine venerates furiously. In front of other races, you're like beaten dogs with tails tucked between your legs. Against your own race, though, you're snarling dogs abusing your power. If you don't want to die, then shut your mouths, said Long Chen icily. Ah, ha, ha, how interesting. Dogs biting dogs. Don't you get fur in your mouth? Well, just keep biting. Within a restaurant, a large man drinking wine looked down on them and sneered. This person's blood kai was astonishing. He was clearly a demonic beast. Also, there were two divine venerates with him so this person's position was clearly not low. Suddenly, Long Chen moved. He appeared in front of that expert in almost an instant and smashed a fist at him. Even an inferior human dares to be arrogant. That man was conceited, so he indifferently flew out and unleashed a punch as well. His fist transformed as he punched until it looked to be an elephant's leg yet also a python. Because of them, the entire city quivered. Stop! The human divine venerates shouted. Perhaps the entire city would be ruined if this attack were to land. However, what shocked people was that despite the overwhelming power and powerful blood kai when Long Chen's fist struck him, he simply exploded into blood mist. In front of Long Chen's fist, he was like a chicken egg. Everyone was stunned. They had all thought that a fierce battle was about to ravage the city. But things were over before they even started. That person was just killed when the two divine venerates roared and pounced on Long Chen. At this moment, the terrifying might of a divine venerate erupted, causing countless people's souls to quiver. The two of them were like lightning, pincering Long Chen from the front and behind. Each of them landed a punch on him, one on the chest and one on his back. Terrifying ripples spread. What? However, people were shocked to find that the attacks of these two divine venerates didn't affect Long Chen at all. It was like he didn't even feel it. He just looked at the divine venerate in front of him. Ew. Terror rose within that divine venerate's eyes. Long Chen slapped him in the face, and his head directly exploded along with his Yuan spirit. Seeing his comrade be killed by a single slap in the face, the divine venerate behind Long Chen didn't even think about vengeance. He turned and fled for his life. Long Chen then raised his right hand. A lightning sword shot out, piercing this divine venerate's body. He looked down at his chest in disbelief and saw the lightning sword reveal a sharp sword light. When lightning flickered, his fresh blood was incinerated. Lei Linger, you really are amazing. This was all thanks to Lei Linger. The lightning sword was the same shape as the wild blade. Now, Lei Linger was clearly capable of fully controlling it and could even use its divine abilities. Explode. The lightning sword detonated with a shout from Long Chen, devouring the demonic beast divine venerate. This is the difference. Long Chen couldn't help sighing inside as he watched the blood mist scatter. To challenge a divine venerate as a divine lord required immense courage. But now, after he became an immortal king, these ordinary divine venerates could be killed with a wave of his hand. 
The difference in realms was truly immense. Long Chen had killed two divine venerates in just a few blinks of an eye. Seeing this scene, everyone within the city was horrified. They had all misjudged. This black-robed man with an ordinary aura was actually a supremely terrifying expert. Long Chen and Jiang Lei's auras were both simply ordinary. Their meridians were so wide now that their blood kai only occupied a small portion of them. That resulted in those who judged, based on blood kai aura, to severely misjudge their power. Those human divine venerates were pale. They thanked their fortunes that they hadn't interfered, or they would be the ones dead. Boss, Jiang Lei, is it really you? Just then, three people walked out of a building. When they all saw each other, Long Chen and Jiang Lei were delighted. They had really run into dragon blood warriors. Guo King, Yao Meng, Zhu Ziu. Long Chen's eyes reddened. He knew the name of every dragon blood warrior. It felt like it had been a lifetime since he had seen them. The three of them openly wept upon seeing Long Chen. After the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, they were all separated. Now that they were reunited, it felt like they were dreaming. Good thing we came out of seclusion, or we'd have missed you, said Yao Meng, rejoiceful. Only then did Long Chen think of something. He turned to the city lord. Call out everyone in seclusion. Say that I, Long Chen, have come. That city lord, who had previously shouted at Long Chen, now acted like a junior, hastily ordering people to open up all the seclusion lands in the city. The people in seclusion would not be happy at being disturbed, but it didn't matter. His life was more important. As a result, there was a pleasant surprise. Two more dragonblood warriors were found within the city. They were all incredibly excited at being reunited. Suddenly, Long Chen looked at the sky with a mocking expression. Sacred Pill Hall, you really refuse to give up. Today, my mood is good, so I'll let you off. Brothers, let's go find a good place for a feast. Long Chen and the others stepped onto a transportation formation and directly left. Just after they did so, countless figures appeared in the sky. These people wore the robes of the sacred pill hall. Regretfully, they were one step too late. Chapter 3790 Clear Sky City Boss, I'm also a supreme expert. This isn't a dream, right? As the dragonblood warriors consumed the heavenly Tao fruits and became supreme experts, they felt like they had completely transformed. It was like a dream. Are you joking? Now that you're with boss, do you still need to suffer? In the future, every day will be like a dream, laughed Jiang Lei. Long Chen and the others had once more interrupted the transportation midway just like last time and found a secluded place. Long Chen then picked out suitable heavenly Tao fruit based on each dragon blood warrior's strong points. The heavenly Tao tree was definitely a heaven defying existence. Those heavenly Tao fruits no longer possessed the aura of the demonic beast race, containing only the purest source energy. Hence, there was no sign of rejection after consumption. After consuming the fruits and becoming supreme experts, they still felt that this was surreal, a supreme heavenly genius. They had never dreamed of becoming such an existence. The dragon blood warriors had all suffered. Although they didn't go through such a terrible experience as Jiang Lei, every step was still thorny. Their path was one of blood and tears. However, this pain and hardship had not obliterated their wills. Instead, it made their wills even stronger. Their sharpness was fully unshaped. After the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, they had started to shy that sharpness. This sharpness was then tempered inside the sheath, and once they unshied their sharp light once more, it would give off an unprecedented sharpness. Previously, due to following Long Chen for so long, they had not suffered enough, causing them to grow arrogant. They hadn't suffered a true failure. But now, these hardships had sharpened them, 
teaching them how to pull in their sharpness. A blade that was only hard could be shattered easily. Now they knew how to reserve themselves, how to hide that sharpness for when they needed it. To hide one's sharpness was not a form of cowardice. It was a way of accumulating power for when it was required. When this power was unleashed, it would be like thunder. Seeing how excited his brothers were, Long Chen was full of emotion and gained even greater confidence for the future. These brothers of his were his greatest motivation. With them present, he was at peace. He was no longer alone. You missed your chance to temper your bodies with the heavenly tribulation. So the supreme energy has not fully merged with you. But it's fine. Get used to it for a bit, and then Lei Linger will use her thunder force to help you reach that level. But we need to take it step by step, not just leap to the end in one jump. To sum it up, you don't need to think about anything. Leave everything to me. Long Chen smiled. Putting it like this, they all cheered. Now that they were with Long Chen, they were no longer solitary figures. They no longer had to worry about the future or fear death. They didn't need to be afraid of being alone. They once more returned to that carefree time when they no longer needed to think about anything other than cultivation. Long Chen personally checked their combat power. During this time, they didn't forget what he had taught them. Their foundations were all extremely solid. Their battle will had not regressed. Instead, this cruel struggle only made them stronger. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Other than Yuo Ran, every dragon blood warrior was serious and did not dare to slack off in the slightest. They were warriors who worked the hardest. Once the dragon blood warriors got used to their supreme power, Long Chen brought them to the closest city. Long Chen took out the compass. Taking note of the direction it pointed, he made a few marks on the map to estimate Mo Nian's general location. They then began to travel across a few cities. Those were all human settlements. Conveniently, Long Chen checked if there were any dragon blood warriors present. If he could gather every one, he could turn them all into supreme experts. The cities that he chose were close to the areas suitable for humans to undergo tribulation. The three thousand worlds didn't just possess the heavenly river Blood Sea. There were many places suitable for people to undergo tribulation. The best places were already occupied by powerful forces. Anyone who wanted to undergo tribulation, there had to be a powerful expert to get their share. If it was an ordinary dragon blood warrior, Long Chen estimated that they would choose the place that wasn't so hotly contested to undergo tribulation. Yuo King and the others had also done so. After undergoing tribulation, they went to a city to stabilize their realm. Long Chen directly shouted when he reached the first city. A divine venerate immediately came out, only to be beaten up by Jiang Lei and the others. Jiang Lei could now easily challenge ordinary divine venerates. He was so strong that he left the beating to his brothers. He only made sure to keep things steady and not let his brothers be injured. Under Jiang Lei's guidance, the three of them beat up the city lord. After that, a divine venerate of the devil race mocked the human race, and Long Chen immediately ordered that devil divine venerate's headless corpse to fall to the ground. Although he also disliked the human race here, he wouldn't kill them. But when it came to other races, he didn't have so many misgivings. If he found a chance, he would directly kill them. After that devil divine venerate was slain, the entire city became obedient. Long Chen directly gave orders to find people, but they were left disappointed. There were no dragon blood warriors present. However, that was fine. Their group went to the second city and did the same thing. After beating up the city lord, everyone was obedient, and then they looked for their people. They were delighted to find a dragon blood warrior present. That revitalized everyone. They went from one city to the next. 
After seventeen cities, they found thirty of their people, including Jiang Lei, Huo King, and the others. They were now a group of thirty-six. Finding each dragon blood warrior was worth a celebration. They were all emotional and wept. This reunion was truly difficult. Long Chen only picked the best heavenly Dao fruits for these dragon blood warriors, and all of them became supreme experts. Once the thirty six of them were united, they immediately started training their formations. After being apart for so long, it felt a bit strange. Furthermore, they were all from different captains, so they needed some drilling to get used to working together. However, their foundations were solid, and their cooperation quickly reached a flawless level. The thirty-six of them managed to form a perfect formation. Seeing this, Long Chan was elated. Their combined power was shocking. It felt like he was seeing all the dragon blood warriors together again. He could already see the dragon blood warriors sweeping through the battlefield once more. Brothers, let's go. The dragon blood legion's name will once more shake the world, shouted Long Chen. The dragon blood warriors cheered. All of them were in high spirits. Following Long Chen again made them feel like they had returned to their days on the martial heaven continent. In just a few hours, they reached a giant ancient city. This was one of the three thousand world's ten major cities, Clear Sky City. As soon as they got close, they heard a lazy voice. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Monayan. Little fellow, have you not heard my great name? You should know that life is short. Why must you always walk shortcuts? Chapter 3000 Seven hundred ninety one Mo Nine's manifestation. There were over ten divine venerates in front of the city and hundreds of supreme immortal kings. Their expressions were twisted darkly. They were blocking one person's path with furious expressions. The person being blocked wore simple robes. He had a horsetail whisk in his hand, and his hair was tied up into a bun. From those characteristics, he gave off the feeling of an immortal deist. However, his slightly chubby face and wretched expression that could not be concealed in his eyes ruined the overall image. It was a typical case of dressing a monkey in royal clothes. No matter how well-dressed it was, it didn't quite look like the image. Long Chen almost died laughing when he saw Mo Nian's costume. Damn human race, you dare to ruin my race's holy land and blaspheme my ancestors' corpses. You also stole my race's treasures. Today, if I don't tear you into a million pieces, your human race will never know what respect is, shouted one divine venerate. These people were experts of the devil race. They blocked Monayan's path in front of the city. This ancient city was different from other cities. It was the only one within the three thousand worlds that only permitted humans inside. Other races that dared to get close would be mercilessly killed. It was said that the city lord of this Clear Sky City was a vicious character in charge of the Clear Sky Legion. They were all fierce warriors of the human race, said to be unafraid of death. They stubbornly created a land that belonged solely to the human race within the three thousand worlds, relying only on their blood and unyielding natures. Clear Sky City had had countless battles throughout history. Hence, the surrounding land was filled with countless corpses. It could be said that this city was built on top of a foundation of blood and corpses. It was the human race's most glorious city. Throughout the rest of the three thousand worlds, all the human race's settlements had to lower their heads to other races. Only Clear Sky City was tough enough to not be bullied at all. It was a typical case of rather fighting to the death than yielding. This caused countless races to attack and try to take the city over. They wanted to destroy the human race's will to fight. But after having some huge casualties, they couldn't maintain their attempts. In the end, 
clear Sky City managed to survive. Although there were three human settlements amongst the 3,000 world's ten greatest cities, only clear Sky City rejected the other races from entering. It could be said to be a transcendent existence of the human race. Any human experts who came here would receive shelter behind the city's walls as long as they didn't break the city's rules. They could live in peace. Thus, the city had the greatest human population of all human settlements. Naturally, with such a populace, there were also more elites. If those elites were strong enough, they would be selected to join the Clear Sky Legion. The Clear Sky Legion had 30 million members. Whether it was the warriors or the officers, they would undergo a trial every half a year. Those ranked at the bottom would be removed from the Legion. That made the elites of the city fight for these spots. With this competition, the Clear Sky Legion was truly a place of elites amongst elites. This was what preserved their peak power. The 30 million Clear Sky Warriors were so intimidating that no one dared to run wild in Clear Sky City. Thus, even these devil experts only dared to stop people outside the city. If Monayan were to enter the city, they could only obediently leave. If they dared to let out a single fart, they would be killed. It seems that your temper is too strong. In truth, your ancestors had a destiny with me. But now, this destiny is over, and both sides can mind their own business. Even if you try to pull me back, it's useless, said Monayan calmly in the face of the devil expert's furious gazes. What bullshit! You blasphemed our ancestors. You brought their bones to see the sun and stole all the treasures within their tombs. How does that count as destiny? Cursed that divine venerate. His voice was so loud that it drew attention from the surroundings. Long Chen knew that these people were afraid of Clear Sky City attacking them simply due to their existence, so they righteously made their reason clear first. It was Mo Nian who provoked them first, so they had a reason to target him. Furthermore, attacking someone outside the city was not breaking the city's rules. That was expressing their respect for Clear Sky City. Mo Nian shook his head and innocently said, Your ancestors' bones were buried too long. The damp environment down there turned everything toxic, causing the bones to rot. I brought them out to dry in the sun out of kind intentions. How can you wrongly accuse a good person of such crimes? Wrongly accuse a good person? You, that devil expert, quivered with rage. He had never seen such a shameless person in his life before. Don't waste time on him. Hand over the soul-guarding bead, or you will die a miserable death today. One of the other divine venerates took out their weapon and pointed it at Mo Nian. Soul guarding bead? Long Chen instantly understood why these devil experts would so furiously chase after Mo Nian. The soul guarding bead in ancient tombs was used as a dwelling place for the ancestral spirits. It was also where their faith energy condensed. In the immortal world, many races had their faiths in their ancestors. The human race was also like that. Families worshipped their ancestral tablets, nourishing their ancestral heroic spirits. This faith energy would make sure that their heroic spirits did not fade away. It was what upheld an entire family or race's karmic luck, helping them awaken their bloodlines. Mo Nian had actually plundered their ancestral tomb, even taking the soul guarding bead. It was no wonder they would dare to take the risk of coming to Clear Sky City and stopping Mo Nain. What are you saying? We're all friends. This treasure has destiny with me. I'd ask you to please not make things hard on this poor deist, said Mo Nain lightly, shaking his head as if he had done nothing wrong. Kill him. Seeing him still feign innocence, those devil experts finally lost their patience. Their head, Divine Venerate, directly attacked. Following him, the others also attacked. Over ten Divine Venerates flew forward along with hundreds of supreme immortal kings. 
This region was fully locked down, and they didn't give Mo Nian any chance of fleeing. Boss, let's go, said Jiang Lei urgently. No need. This fellow's quite strong. Long Chen shook his head. He understood Mo Nian far too well. If Mo Nian didn't have the power to back his words up, he'd have long since run off. This fellow's fleeing arts were completely unrivaled. If he dared to still be standing there, it meant that he had absolute assurance. Boom! A heaven-shaking explosion erupted. As a result, those experts charging at Mo Nian were all sent flying. The closest divine venerates coughed up blood and tumbled back miserably. It was a shocking sight. A wild kai wave then spread along with a sacred might, and a giant palace appeared behind Mo Nian. The palace was solemn and dignified. It exuded a majestic aura. Every brick and tile gave off the divine might of the heavenly Taoes. It was like its own world. This was Mo Nian's manifestation. This manifestation suppressed the ten thousand Taoes, and even the divine venerates were shaken to the point of coughing up blood. Long Chen himself jumped in shock. When did this fellow gain such a terrifying manifestation? The world quivered. However, unexpectedly, Mo Nian didn't attack. He only took out a shovel and dug a large hole in the ground. Those devil experts were enraged. Seeing Mo Nian minding his own business and digging, one of them roared and slashed his sword across space. Mo Nian's figure vanished. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, he appeared above that person's head and smacked him with his shovel. That person's bones shattered and he instantly died. His corpse then flew through the air and landed perfectly in the hole that Mo Nian had dug. Just as everyone was completely shocked, Mo Nian was like a phantom, appearing beside the other divine venerate. His shovel once more smashed down. Chapter 3792 Follow Big Brother Bang When that devil expert was smacked by the shovel, his body stiffened. He directly flew into the hole that Mo Nian had just dug. By the time his body landed, his life aura had completely vanished. He died just like that. Long Chen jumped in shock. Previously, when Mo Nian's attack had killed the first divine venerate, he hadn't found it to be surprising. But this shovel didn't seem to possess much power, and yet after being struck, their souls directly scattered. Just like that, Mo Nian was like a ghost, striking seven divine venerates in a row. Those devil experts' expressions completely changed. Only at this moment did they realize that this wretched-looking fellow was actually a terrifying monster. Fun, one of the surviving divine venerates, directly led the retreat. But all of a sudden, Mo Nian's shovel vanished and was replaced by an ancient black bow. It was covered in black scales and had nine snake heads on top of it. Each side had four, with one in the center. When Mo Nian pulled back the bowstring, those black scales unleashed black ripples that condensed into a black arrow. In that instant, heaven and earth changed color. The sunny sky became covered in a black curtain, and a chilly death kai shook the entire world. It was like the life of the entire world was sucked away. When Mo Nian released the bowstring, a black streak of lightning left the bow and transformed into hundreds of arrows. Those arrows flew in strange arcs to pierce the bodies of the devil experts. The instant the devil experts were struck by the arrows, their bodies stiffened and they fell from the sky. Mo Nian once more switched weapons, taking out his shovel again. Before their corpses even fell to the ground, he appeared beside them and struck them one at a time with his shovel, sending them into his hole. He then covered the corpses with dirt. His movements were clean and practiced. With a few pats, the earth returned to its normal appearance as if nothing had happened. After all of that, Mo Nian took out a bag. Walking around that land, he grabbed something from the bag and threw it into the sky, solemnly chanting, Dust to dust, earth to earth. Life is bitterly floating across the sea of desires. 
now that i have sent you to the yellow springs this life's karma is passed to the next life on the three great paths to the yellow springs walk the southwest don't look back this life will never return after saying that the thing mo nyan had thrown into the sky slowly floated down it was yellow paper money mo nyan actually held a spiritual ceremony for the devil experts he had killed if people hadn't seen him kill so ruthlessly and take his victims weapons and treasures if they only saw his current appearance of weeping for the sadness of humanity they really would be tricked by him and take him to be some wise deist may i ask if this great deist's ceremony can allow those departed souls to rest in peace and live a life of peace forever long chen walked over smiling at mo nyan's divine act mo nyan quivered when he heard his voice he then turned to look at long chen and his eyes widened he was delighted but he suppressed those emotions and solemnly said sir's words are lacking we are people who cultivate the tao we are all living and we all accumulate karma this karma follows people even to the next life only living people can reform and turn over a new leaf giving them a chance to lighten their karma to put it bluntly it's an act of the dead people for the living to see said long chen answer is wise admirable this poor deist sees that you are exceptionally talented those pure bones that pure gaze i can see that there is a great business to be done between us i wish to collaborate with you is sir interested mo nyan managed to keep up his solemnity at the start but his last two lines were clearly filled with a wretched flavor oh the two of them exchanged a look and laughed at the same time the two of them then hugged emotionally they were finally meeting again mo nyan also hugged every single dragon blood warrior present these old friends of the martial heaven continent felt incomparably close wait for me the ritual isn't complete yet i'm still missing the final step but i'll be done soon mo nyan proceeded to circle the burial land three times clockwise and then three times counterclockwise he continued to chant and only finished after spouting a large mass of words what is up with the ritual why go to such great lengths asked long chen exactly it's so irritating after killing people i actually have to bury them and perform a ritual for their souls this is the rule of our limitless palace i have to respect it that's why i rarely kill people now normally i won't bother unless i'm forced to i really envy you you can kill people and just forget about it but i have to kill bury and then perform a ritual it's so troublesome mo nyan shrugged helplessly however a pleased smile then appeared on his face long chen in the immortal world my name is far more resounding than yours i am the next palace master of the limitless palace and i've already awakened the limitless immortal palace manifestation from now on just follow me your big brother and i guarantee that you'll have good food to eat and spicy wine to drink long chen smiled mo nyan's character really hadn't changed on the martial heaven continent he had been secretly competing with long chen to be the most famous person on the continent now that they were in the immortal world he really hadn't let up he still wanted to be above long chen in fame mo nyan you bastard you absolute brute mo nyan had just finished saying this when countless experts appeared over the horizon like a flood their numbers were in the millions and there were people from various races just the divine venerates alone numbered more than a hundred bun enter the city mo nyan directly patted his butt and fled into the city didn't you say that if i followed you i'd have good food to eat and spicy wine to drink what happened to that asked long chen as he followed 
Moan Nyan had just finished bragging when he slapped himself in the face. There's definitely no problem with the eating and drinking, but nothing else, said Mo Nyan shamelessly. What? How are you able to say something so shameless? Fine. You really are stronger than before, said Long Chen. The people charging over were gnashing their teeth furiously. It was as if Mo Nyan had killed their fathers and stolen their wives. That was the level of hatred they had for him. What's going on? Why do they hate you so much? asked Long Chen. Who knows? You also know who I am. Other than being fond of archaeology, researching historical remains, uncovering the secrets of the ancients, continuing their inheritances, I'm not interested in anything else, said Mo Nai bashfully. Hearing that, Long Chen instantly understood. Mo Nai had definitely robbed their ancestral tombs. However, these people came from hundreds of different races. Long Chen didn't know how many tombs Mo Nian had robbed to cause so many people to chase after him. Suddenly, divine light shuddered above the city, and countless sharp blades condensed, pointing at those people. Alt! Only humans are allowed in Clear Sky City. The rest of you must stop or be executed. With that shout, that tide of experts came to a stop. In the end, Long Chen, Mo Nian, and the others walked into the city under their torrent of curses and verbal abuses. Chapter 3793, eight gates, eight trigrams, there was still some distance to clear Sky City, but those foreign experts didn't dare to get closer. They roared and cursed at Mo Nian furiously, but didn't dare to take a single step closer. After a while, they could only helplessly scatter. Mo Nai inside with relief before returning to his calm nonchalance. It seems that you've worked hard in the three thousand worlds. You must have been toiling away day and night, said Long Chen somewhat speechlessly. Just how long had it been since they had entered the three thousand worlds? But Mo Nai was already being chased down by so many forces. He definitely hadn't slacked off. You overpraise me, he he. Mo Nyan chortled. He was very pleased with himself. At this moment, Long Chen and the others arrived in front of the city gates. Two divine venerates registered them and asked them many questions. Those questions seemed to be a trial. They had to answer directly, and there was no brushing off the questions. After those questions, they were granted status plates. Mo Nyan already had one. According to Clear Sky City, every person needed to pay a hundred thousand Immortal King Crystal as tax. It was definitely a heavy tax, especially for people like Long Chen, who were only passing by temporarily. It could even be considered a robbery. This was one of the rules of Clear Sky City. It was a heavy tax, but Clear Sky City was absolutely safe. Compared to absolute safety, this bit of money didn't count as much. Furthermore, not all members of the human race were necessarily qualified to enter the city. If their answers in front of the city did not pass the city's standard, they would be rejected. No matter how much money they offered, they wouldn't be allowed in. In truth, these questions were a test to measure a person's character. Most importantly, it tested whether a person had betrayed or would betray the human race. Long Chen and the others easily entered. After obtaining their status plates, Mo Nian magnanimously paid ten times the tax. To use Mo Nian's words, he was nothing more than a passing guest. He couldn't do much else for the human race here, so giving up some worldly possessions was not worth mentioning. This generosity moved the two divine venerates letting them in. They hastily thanked Mo Nian. Although this sum of money wasn't much, they greatly admired his generosity. After seeing how Mo Nian had killed so many experts, they felt good that someone so terrifying was not putting on airs at all and still kept the human race in his heart. Those two elders even called people over to guide Long Chen and the others. 
they also transmitted some taboos of clear sky city to them these taboos were actually carved onto the back of each status plate and the visitors of the city had to study them themselves explaining it to them directly was their way of repaying mo nian's generosity once they were in the city long chen noticed that it was even bigger than he had imagined other than the violet flame heaven capital he had never seen such a giant city however while the violet flame heaven capital was large it was in ruins here the endless sprawl of buildings was completely intact this sight gave off a shocking feeling let's go i'll hold a welcoming feast for you mo nian walked into the city like it was his home he was effortlessly familiar with the roads they then took some transportation formations in the city and arrived at the most luxurious district of the city clear sky city was divided into many districts some areas were specifically for cultivation or trading while some were for martial stages or simply entertainment to sum it up there were places to do whatever you wanted everyone here followed the rules strictly not daring to cause any fuss it had to be known that this was the only pure land of the human race in the three thousand worlds if they were expelled from here they would forever lose their right to enter clear sky city thus everyone here was prudent enough not to break the rules while the outside of this city was a storm of blood the inside of the city was flourishing they were like two completely different worlds this really is a good place when will we also be able to create such a world where we can be carefree and happy jiang lei couldn't help sighing this place was flourishing in their eyes it was already a holy land that transcended the rest of the world this place was built through the sacrifice of countless human experts all this luxury and freedom we see were gained using their lives after all this world is full of darkness it is nameless heroes who use their lives and blood to block the darkness for the people inside the city big brother yun shang big brother king zhu big brother mo lai big sister han zhu big brother zai yang the old man alliance head K, senior ling yunzi hu feng and many of our dragon blood warriors so many heroes sacrificed themselves just to leave behind a peaceful world in the final battle of the martial heaven continent long chen couldn't help sighing when he saw the smiles on the faces of the people inside the city when long chen brought this up mo nian jang lei and the others eyes reddened so many people had died in that battle they almost didn't dare to think about it we do it so that the people we love can live carefree lives like them i'm sure that the people who died can smile in the nine springs sighed mo nian he patted Long Chen's shoulder. That's enough. Don't talk about it. It was so difficult to reunite. So let's be happy. Mo Nian knew just how big of an impact that battle had on Long Chen. He didn't want him to sink into grief. This big brother has already prepared a gift for you. Let's hurry up. Long Chen looked at this flourishing world and couldn't help but think of his old friends on the martial heaven continent filled with sorrow he took a deep breath and suppressed those feelings a gift what did you dig it out of the ground asked long chen are you looking down on me you clearly aren't being respectful of my profession said mo nian no matter how you put it i am the future palace master of the limitless palace as brothers you have to be more respectful of my profession that's right you mentioned the limitless palace are you talking about the legendary five palaces and eight gates asked long chen suddenly what five palaces and eight gates mo nian was startled in the midst it is said that outside the world of the nine heavens there is a transcendent divine world with five palaces the central high firmament palace the southern jade void palace the northern limitless palace the jade void palace is also the main gate to the heavenly palace 
the life gate the corresponding limitless palace on the other side is the death gate life and death face each other the eight gates are body life pain limit vision death terror and opening they are also called the eight trigrams corresponding to the kyan can jen jen zun lai kun dewey in correlation with are you telling me you didn't know any of this long chen was also dumbfounded when he saw mo nian's lost expression i really didn't mo nian stared at him oddly didn't you say that you're the future palace master of the limitless palace do you not know the origin of your sect asked long chen speechlessly our limitless palace only has two members that treacherous old fellow he didn't tell me anything after leaving me a few things he just had me live my own life sink or swim as soon as mo nian mentioned this person he gnashed his teeth brother is the limitless palace you're talking about very badass mo nian didn't have long chen's learning and didn't know about the matter of the five palaces and eight gates but long chen's solemn expression moved him if the limitless palace that you are talking about really is the limitless palace that i'm talking about i'll definitely follow you in the future said long chen sincerely if long chen really had made a connection with an existence from the era of legends then he really would be badass ah mo nian laughed and wrapped his arm around long chen's shoulders my luck really is good you're always surrounded by bad luck my limitless palace probably really is that legendary existence at this time they arrived at a palace-like building there were two beautiful maidens standing at the entrance seeing mo nian arrive they bowed deeply and guided them inside once they walked in jiang lei and the other dragon blood warriors all cried out in delight chapter three thousand seven hundred ninety four big business this palace had over two hundred people enthusiastically chatting in it when long chen and the others walked in those people's eyes instantly turned red they openly wept and cried out buzz these people were all dragon blood warriors long chen practically couldn't believe his eyes every single one of them was filled with emotion afraid that this was a dream all right all right that's about enough today is a great day of celebration for the dragon blood legion i'll be the host shouted mo nian dozens of beautiful attendants walked in bringing them to the highest level of the palace this was a giant banquet hall this place was extremely luxurious even the carpets were made of the fur of demonic beasts that had reached the divine venerate realm the pillars the walls they were made out of the highest grade materials just the air of luxury alone shook them the table was already covered in the finest delicacies they were mostly delicacies that long chen had never seen before from the bowls to even the utensils they were all made of materials used for creating world domain divine items it was the epitome of elegance and luxury mal nian had clearly gone all out for this celebration brother thank you said long chen emotionally a minor matter i reserved this entire palace the reunion of your dragon blood legion requires a decent place chortled mo nian pleased with himself he reserved the entire palace how much money was that jiang lei jumped in shock it was nothing one day is a hundred million immortal king crystals for now i've only booked it for a month i reckoned that long chen you would definitely arrive within a month i left such an obvious signal and spread it everywhere if you still didn't notice it he he then you would simply be too foolish laughed mo nian long chen blushed slightly in the violet flame heaven capital he had seen those people playing the drums and gongs but he really hadn't taken much note of them it seems that you're rich now it just so happens that i can benefit from you long chen sat down without courtesy he he this is nothing 
Brothers, today is the joyful reunion of the Dragonblood Legion. We have to properly drink. Mo Nian raised his cup. Everyone cheered, but Long Chen waved his hands first for everyone to put down their cups. If we're going to drink, we have to drink the best. Long Chen then took out the wine god palace's wine. As soon as he unsealed the jug, a strong wine scent made the dragon blood warriors salivate. They were like locusts as soon as they smelled it. Damn, this is definitely the divine wine of the wine god palace. I won't say anything else. I won't ask for much. Just split me half, not one drop more. Molnayan also jumped up when he saw this wine. Mo Nayan was also fond of wine. He had gathered many fine wines during this time, but no matter how great those wines were, they simply could not compare to the wine god palace's wine. Mo Nayan had once managed to find three jugs of the wine god palace's wine in a tomb. Even so, he only got to drink half a jug before his master, the immoral deist, stole the rest. Mo Nian directly turned hostile. However, the immoral deist was simply immoral. He drank it all, not leaving Mo Nian a single drop. Hence, now that he was seeing this wine again, he instantly lost his calm. Unlayer matter. Come, brother, let's drink until we collapse to celebrate our reunion. Long Chen directly tossed out hundreds of jugs. Everyone drank together. The fine wine came out one bowl after another. These life and death brothers didn't talk about their pasts or their hardships. For them, they could communicate with just a look. All that was left was to drain their bowls before filling them again. They drank for a whole day and night. In the end, everyone else collapsed and slept on the ground. Only Long Chen and Mo Nian were still drinking. However, they had also drunk so much that their tongues felt swollen. Even their words were slurring. Both of them talked about their times in the immortal world. Mo Nian's luck was good. After receiving the immoral deist's pointers, he quickly acclimated to the Limitless Palace's cultivation technique, and his cultivation base rapidly advanced. Ever since he ascended, he hadn't encountered a single person who was a match for him within the same realm. However, he had his own troubles. The immoral deist gave him three treasures, a pair of worn-down boots, a helmet, and a shovel. At first, he thought that he was being conned, but later he realized that these three things were priceless treasures. These priceless treasures needed the death kai from tombs in order to grow. Fortunately, Mo Nian specialized in that on the Martial Heaven continent. With his experience, he easily robbed tombs. As a fellow master, he quickly assimilated all the knowledge of his master. However, the most vexing thing to Mo Nian was that his immoral master would pay him a visit every few days and then take away all the treasures that he had plundered. None of his defenses worked. Even the things he hid in his astral space were taken by his immoral master. Every meeting resulted in him being looted, so Mo Nian had the urge to beat up this shameless old fellow. However, the immoral deist's cultivation base still remained a mystery to him. No matter how quickly Mo Nian advanced, the immoral deist was still far above him. Mo Nian had no choice but to be obedient. This time, Mo Nian had just parted with the immoral deist for a short time by escaping to the Three Thousand Worlds, and had already accumulated quite a bit. It could be said that Mo Nian's work was the fastest way of gathering money. He had all kinds of treasures he had obtained from tombs. However, thinking of how the immoral deist was soon going to plunder all of them began, Mo Nian got angry. He booked this entire palace not just for face, but mostly because the immoral deist would just plunder him again. Hence, he might as well just spend it all first. As for when Mo Nian asked about what Long Chen had experienced, he found that his little bit of misfortune was practically a blessing compared to what Long Chen had gone through. Brother, I'm sure now. 
you are bound by bad luck you end up running into every annoying thing possible mo nyant touched cups with long chen and drank again this was a toast of sympathy for long chen's bad luck i've long since gotten used to it it's fine my luck isn't all bad at the very least i got to meet so many friends big brother ziat Hong, big brother wu tian they are peerless heroes if we have a chance i'll definitely introduce you to them said long chen i've heard of ziat Hong. he is definitely a peerless hero i want to meet him mong nyan gave him a thumbs up speaking of have you found liu zhang asked long chen mong nyan's expression suddenly changed seeing this long chen jumped in horror but mo nyan waved his hand don't misunderstand she's fine i just haven't found her yet the irritating thing is that my immoral master has calculated where she is but he refuses to tell me i've crossed through various heavens doing archaeology as i search for her but i'm unable to find a single clue tell me don't you think that this bastard master of mine is maddening if i had such a bastard master i'd definitely beat them up said long chen he had drunk too much and immediately raised his fist in righteous indignation for this brother of his brother remember that big business i mentioned to you before mo nyan suddenly looked around and whispered to long chen Thunk. long chen dropped his cup to the table are you planning to chapter three thousand seven hundred ninety five heaven shaking to fuck what are you thinking about even if i hate that shameless fellow i won't really try to kill him i'm talking about other business mo nyan shook his head can you not change the subject so suddenly then you scared me long chen really had thought that mo nyan's big business was to join forces against his master making long chen sober up from his drunk state brother let me tell you the three thousand worlds are hiding a huge secret it's a heaven-shaking secret an entire era is buried there based on my years of archaeology experience i already have a general grasp over where that giant tomb is said mo nyan we're going grave robbing whose tomb is it asked long chen he was also interested that expression of mon nyan's told him that it was truly a huge piece of business i don't know whose tomb it is nor do i know what is hidden within it i crossed several large areas after entering the three thousand worlds i saw the mountains and plains i saw the flow of water based on the movement of the sun moon and stars i am sure that there is a huge tomb underground let me put it to you this way after joining the limitless palace my immoral master might make me fume with rage but he also taught me many things my vision is definitely correct i went there once although i just probed the outer edge it made my hair stand on end it was so dangerous that i ultimately retreated and decided to only try it again after becoming an immortal king as my brother you have to help me however i still feel like just the two of us aren't enough it would be best if you call over yuo ran and zaya chen if the four of us join forces we should be able to consume this business said mo nine it's that terrifying even after becoming an immortal king you still feel like you don't have any assurance long chen was surprised with mo nine's current power what was making him so cautious perhaps i don't have as much combat experience as you but i guarantee that no one within the nine heavens has a greater sense of danger toward underground dangers than me with the exception of my master after i left that region the spirit mountain heavenly world opened i was originally planning on undergoing tribulation somewhere else but that place was closest to the tomb so i tried to find some clues within the heavenly tribulation guess what happened some terrifying monsters appeared within the tribulation those monsters brought dark auras with them 
despite them having an immortal king cultivation base, they made me piss my pants. Furthermore, while undergoing tribulation, I had to look after your brothers in the Dragon Blood Legion, so things almost went out of control. At the very end, the number one warriors of the Nine Heavens appeared, the Nine Sar heirs. They started fighting with those monsters. Let me tell you, they were practically the real monsters as they killed those dark monsters. If it weren't for them, we really might have been doomed. In the end, the Nine Sar heirs and the dark monsters killed each other off. We profited off of their fight and absorbed a huge amount of thunder force. It could be considered a perfect tribulation. I feel like the reason that the dark monsters and the Nine Star heirs were manifested by the heavenly tribulation was because of the tomb. The most terrifying thing was that when the tribulation was ending, terrifying phantoms appeared in the sky. Ian Kai covered the sky. However, I don't know if it was because the tribulation ran out of power, but they ultimately didn't manifest. I don't know what they were. To tell the truth, when those phantoms appeared, I was terrified. I even thought about giving up on that tomb. It's my first time feeling such a thing in this lifetime. However, now that you're here, I'm in high hopes again. If you can find Zaya Chen and Guo Ran, a peak formation master and a peak forging master, it should increase our odds and make it worth taking the risk, said Mo Nian. That does sound very dangerous, but enticing. You really are evil, said Long Chen. Mo Nian had definitely done this intentionally. He knew just how intensely curious Long Chen was. He managed to draw out Long Chen's strongest primal desire. You're sure this is big business? Asked Long Chen carefully. I swear it's definitely big business of an unprecedented size, so big that it's unimaginable, swore Mo Nian. Fuck, then let's do it. Long Chen clenched his teeth and waved his cup. Mo Nian laughed delightedly and touched his cup with Long Chen's. They once more drank, and this matter was set. The two of them continued to drink a few more cups before they also collapsed, and slept on the ground like dead hogs. It was a sweet sleep, Long Chen's most refreshing sleep since arriving in the immortal world. He slept for three days. When he woke up, his mind was completely refreshed. He felt full of power. According to reason, cultivators didn't need to sleep. But sometimes, this most primitive state could bring some special benefits. Mo Nian woke up at about the same time as Long Chen. As for the other dragon blood warriors, they were still asleep. A beautiful attendant was waiting for every single one of them. It went without saying that this kind of service was worth a rental fee of 100 million immortal king crystals. The two of them had just woken up when attendants came to wait on them, washing their faces. Long Chen was not used to being served, but Mo Nian had long since gotten accustomed to such a thing. Brother, you need to learn how to enjoy life. You have to think about relaxation in order to stay in your peak condition, said Mo Nian. Haha, once you meet Liu Zonging, I hope you can still maintain such a thing, laughed Long Chen. He he, that's why people must enjoy the present, otherwise they won't have such an opportunity in the future, said Mo Nian, not in the least concerned. Mo Nian wasn't worried about Liu Zonging. The immoral deist had promised him that she was absolutely safe. That was the only reason he could focus purely on archaeology. After freshening up, Long Chen and Mo Nian both looked different. One was like a dazzling star, and the other was like an immortal deist. Those attendants looked at them fondly. However, while they saw their handsome sides, they didn't see the murderous aura within Long Chen or the wretchedness within Mo Nian. Let's go. I'll bring you to see some people. Mo Nian brought Long Chen out of the palace. Your social circle is quite big. Long Chen was surprised. But of course, if you are to go out, how can you not have any friends? Said Mo Nian, 
bringing Long Chen to a manor, to possess a land within clear Sky City where every inch was worth an enormous sum, the owner had to be an amazing figure. When they walked into the manor, someone immediately warmly greeted them and brought them to a room where there was already a feast prepared. Mo Nian didn't stand on courtesy. He sat Long Chen down and started eating. This was a wedding reception. After just eating a bit, new people came in to eat and drink. But when the newlyweds came in, they were startled. Brother, I'm sorry, I don't quite recognize you. Your Long Chen was surprised. Was this person not Mo Nian's friend? He looked over at Mo Nian, only to find that the latter was gone from his seat. Looking into the distance, Long Chen saw that little fellow rubbing his mouth and fleeing. What the fuck? Long Chen was dumbfounded. Chapter 3796 Good Wishes Long Chen instantly understood that Mo Nian didn't know this person at all. He had only dragged Long Chen here to eat this person's food and drink his wine. But they had been discovered. Mo Nian ran off on his own. Being stared at by this many people, Long Chen had the urge to jump into a hole. However, he was quite smart and quickly thought of how to deal with this situation. He sighed and emotionally looked at the woman. Since you ask, I'll tell you the truth. I've long since secretly been in love with you. Every person's expression changed when they heard this. This was a wedding reception. Was he trying to start a fight? The wife's expression also changed. She didn't recognize Long Chen at all. Before they could say anything, Long Chen continued, Let me put it this way. I came without any intention of leaving alive. To have my beloved be taken away? What was the point of living? I was planning on deciding life and death with you after the wedding reception, but I see your love for each other. You, you are more handsome than me, and your cultivation base is higher. I truly can't compare to you. I feel like the two of you are truly a perfect pair. Fine, I won't quibble with you. You've taken my beloved woman, and I've eaten a meal from you. With one plate of stir-fry pork, we're even. Long Chen swaggered to the table and in front of countless dumbfounded gazes. He took a plate of stir-fry pork and walked out. He ate as he walked, no one stopping him. But that works. When Long Chen walked out, Mo Nian was waiting outside. Seeing him easily escape that embarrassing predicament, Mo Nian was completely shocked. Can you be more serious? You, the great future leader of the Limitless Palace, really have to con people out of their food? Can you have some shame? demanded Long Chen. TCH, my master, told me that a person cannot have any shame or they will lose out. Let's go eat from the next place, said Mo Nain contrarily. He actually dragged Long Chen to another feast in the distance. Ah, I'm not going to go. My stomach isn't that big. This plate is enough for me. You go, and I'll wait for you, said Long Chen as he munched on his food. He didn't want to get conned by this fellow again. All right, then just wait. I didn't eat my fill just now, so I'll make up for it there. If I'm noticed, I'll do the same thing as you. Mo Nian directly went over to their feast. Long Chen was speechless. However, thinking about it, he had to at least admire that Mo Nian had retained his childish innocence even now. He truly was living a simple, carefree life. That wasn't bad either. There were all kinds of feasts being held. Mo Nian came to a place that he was rather familiar with. Seeing the people here toasting, he randomly picked a seat, not caring whose it was, and began to eat. Hey, who are you? Mo Nian had only eaten a few mouthfuls before someone noticed him. They didn't look at him kindly. Meh. Ah, cough, I came to congratulate you. I hope you have such a joyous day every year. However, before he could even finish his act, the expressions of the people around him changed. Killing intent actually covered him. We're carrying out a funeral feast here. 
you wish such an event on us every year demanded a divine venerate furiously only then did monayan realize that there was a funeral hall in the distance his jaw dropped long chen had just finished his food when he saw monayan running back in a panic he couldn't help asking you finished eating so quickly you damn bastard if you have guts then don't run following that long chen saw countless experts charging over with furious expressions it seemed that they wanted to tear mo nian apart seeing this long chen hastily fled with mo nian in clear sky city people didn't dare to actually fight hence in the end those people chased them for a bit before leaving what did you do did you seduce the new wife asked long chen speechlessly don't even talk about it mo nian thought about explaining it but then thinking about how long chen would laugh him to death he decided to just keep his mouth shut mo nian brought long chen around for a stroll as a result long chen saw many buildings with the dragon blood legion's name written on them they had the name of mo nian's rented palace on them as well mo nian smiled those are all notices that i placed they are spread throughout all the conspicuous areas within clear sky city as long as someone from the dragon blood legion comes here they'll immediately join us with this method i found over seventy dragon blood warriors i'm sure that as time passes even more will come they've probably received my message long chen nodded with this as long as the dragon blood legion's people came to this city they would see the notices mo nian truly had thought this through mo nian brought long chen around to see these things so that he could be at peace he understood long chen's heart and knew that he longed to reunite with his brothers originally mo nian was planning on bringing long chen around the market to see if he needed anything available the current mo nian was a moneybags with more money than he could spend however long chen declined he had to go into seclusion for a few days to activate the fifth star of the battle armor once he got used to it he could then activate the sixth star and then the complete seven star battle armor once they were back in the palace they found that jang lei and the others had yet to awaken hence long chen directly entered seclusion the palace had a luxurious training room six hours later long chen had activated the fifth star and violet kai swirled around him his aura grew denser and sharper when he came out of seclusion he was pleasantly surprised to see that three more dragon blood warriors had found this place thanks to mo nian's notices at this time jang lei and the others finally woke up long chen then distributed the heavenly dao fruits seeing them directly become supreme experts after consuming this fruit mo nian's eyes almost popped out of his head brother do you have extra fruits don't forget a portion from my mo family said mo nian enviously have you found the disciples of your mo family asked long chen i found over three thousand of them and arranged a place for them to cultivate i wondered mo nian was a bit embarrassed to ask for such a heaven to find treasure but he couldn't help asking for some for his family that's a mitre matter your mo family's brothers are my brothers what the dragon blood warriors have you will also have long chen patted mo nian's shoulder and promised was he lacking such a thing mo nian was delighted three days later long chen finished activating the sixth star he was only one step away from the seven star battle armor moreover the current six star battle armor was already ten times stronger than the old six star battle armor long chen had immense confidence due to this at this time everything was going according to mo nian's expectations countless people were coming to clear sky city and the dragon blood warriors were also coming from all directions there were already over five hundred of them 
Long Chen gave every single one of them a suitable heavenly Tao fruit. They now had over five hundred supreme experts. Suddenly, a tablet on Long Chen's waist lit up. Long Chen was delighted. Guo Ran and Xia Chen have come as well. Chapter 3797 Yu Xiaokian's Crisis The tablet Xia Chen had given Long Chen was finally reacting. That meant that they were no longer far from each other. Hearing that they were near, Mo Nian was even more excited than Long Chen. It had to be known that if it weren't for Long Chen needing a few days of seclusion, he have dragged Long Chen away to go search for them. Let's go. We'll reunite with them right now, urged Mo Nian impatiently. All right. But I first have to arrange some things. Long Chen directly gathered the dragon blood warriors and ordered them to cultivate within the city during this time and wait for more dragon blood warriors. He also left hundreds of heavenly Tao fruit, instructing Jiang Lei on how to differentiate them so that the right ones were given to the right warriors based on their attributes. It was only after this that Long Chen left with Mo Nian. The tablet's fluctuations were very weak. Long Chen was unable to determine an accurate direction from it. After testing it, they decided to first do some short-distance transportations. If they were wrong, they would just go back. After arriving at a mid-sized city, the tablet's fluctuations were slightly clearer. It gradually began to point in one direction. They then took out a map and transported themselves to the next human settlement. With every city they arrived at, Mo Nian would buy some ads to direct the Dragon Blood Warriors to clear Sky City. After seven cities, Long Chen finally confirmed Xia Chen and Guo Ran's location. The two of them were in another human city, one comparable to Clear Sky City, Silver Moon City. This Silver Moon City was not the Dao Dawn Domain Silver Moon City. This Silver Moon City possessed an extremely ancient history. It was said that the indigenous members were descendants of the immemorial Silver Moon race. The Silver Moon race might not be able to compare to the Jilai, Violet Blood, or Heavenly Eye races, but they were still a powerful bloodline with terrifying power. However, Silver Moon City was not like Clear Sky City in that it did not reject other races. As long as the various races were willing to abide by Silver Moon City's rules, all races could enter. Although the human populace was in charge, they didn't have dealings with Clear Sky City. That was because the city lord of Clear Sky City was too domineering and even looked down upon Silver Moon City. This place is a bit distasteful. There is a wild land between us that blocks transportations. We'll need to go around, said Mo Nian frowning as he eyed the map. This wild land was one where space was still shattered, and the laws were in chaos. There was no way to make a spatial channel between them. If they wanted to get across, they'd need to travel through it themselves or go around. If they were to fly, it'd take at least a few days. But going around would also take two or three days. Is there a way to get them to come over? After all, the tomb is closer to Clear Sky City, said Mo Nian. Long Chen shook his head. We should go over. They probably have quite a few dragon blood warriors with them. I don't like the idea of them traveling alone. Mo Nian nodded. If they were in a large group, it really wouldn't be convenient. The two of them could also leave behind more signs for dragon blood warriors throughout the cities that they passed through if they went around so it wasn't a waste of time. In one day, the two of them went through almost a hundred cities. Even with their power, they were almost vomiting by the end. The taste of space constantly twisting was difficult to bear. Anyone else would have long since reached their limit. Fortunately, they were getting closer and closer to Silver Moon City. If they kept preserving, they would arrive eventually. Just as Long Chen needed seven more transportations to arrive at Silver Moon City, Long Chen's tablet began to rapidly blink. What is it? asked Mo Nian. 
Long Chen's expression changed. Yuo Ran must be in trouble. We have to increase the pace. Under normal circumstances, the two of them would pay a fee and then line up after arriving at each city. But after receiving this urgent distress signal, they directly cut the lines, knocking aside anyone who would stop them. In each city, they had to knock down a few experts before they felt like they could safely use the transportation formation. They finally arrived at Silver Moon City, but Long Chen found that Kyo Ran had already left. Only Xia Chen's tablet was still present. But when they arrived, it wasn't Xia Chen who welcomed them. It was a group of dragon blood warriors. Boss, not good. Yu Ran and Xia Chen received word that Yu Xiaokian is being attacked by the devil race. As the two of them couldn't wait for Yu, they immediately set off. They only left us to wait for Yu and give you this tablet, reported a dragon blood warrior. Yu Xiaokian? Long Chen was startled. Yu Xiaokian was from the original devil race. With the devil suppressing seal on her forehead, she was the natural bane of the devil race. Furthermore, the devil race hated her race. They would definitely launch an all-out attack if they discovered her. Boss, take this. This is Boss Xia Chen's tablet, and it has stronger sensing capabilities. We can switch, and you rush over. That dragon blood warrior pressed the tablet into Long Chen's hand. Long Chen then handed him his tablet. He didn't have much time. There were over a hundred dragon blood warriors here, so Long Chen gave them the heavenly Tao fruits and told them to secretly consume them when they could. He also implored them to be safe and search for other dragon blood warriors in the city when they were done. After that, he left them a mass of money. Long Chen and Mo Nian charged into the city. As soon as they entered, a group of people blocked their path. If you don't want to die, then scram. Long Chen roared and a wave of killing intent erupted. Those people were from the demonic beast race. They had clearly come to provoke Long Chen, but this one roar shook their eyes to the point that they didn't dare to move. Their souls almost collapsed. Who dares to cause such a ruckus a group of patrolling experts came by, but one look from Long Chen caused them to shut their mouths. Long Chen urgently needed to go, so he no longer cared about who was in his way. He would not show mercy. Long Chen and Mo Nian shoved their way onto the transportation formation. There were originally several demonic beasts on it, but Long Chen and Mo Nian grabbed their throats and threw them aside like trash. Long Chen directly activated the transportation formation, and in front of countless shocked gazes, vanished. Boom. Long Chen struck the void, and the two of them came flying out of space. Long Chen then checked the tablet and nodded. We're not far. Let's go. Long Chen had borrowed the transportation formation and left midway. As long as the direction wasn't off, they would save quite a bit of time like that. Mo Nian took out the map and said, this should be the forbidden land of the devil race. It seems that Xia Chen and them are already in the depths of this territory. A battle will be difficult to avoid. Then let's just destroy this land. Long Chen looked at his tablet. They were not far from Kuo Ran and Xia Chen, so the two of them hastily flew off. Chapter 3798 Two headed monster chains flew through the air covering the sky as well as three people. Of those three people, one wore armor and one held a talisman in his hand. They were Gyuo Ran and Xia Chen. Both of them were covered in blood. Beside them was a graceful, long-haired woman. Her eyes were bright, and her hair fluttered behind her. She was like a fairy with a bright rune shining on her forehead. At this moment... A powerful Grand Kai swirled around her entire body. She wielded her sword and repeatedly blocked the attacks of a powerful devil expert. This woman was the original devil Racy's Yu Xiopian. 
Waves of sword Kai came flying out of Yu Ziopian's sword, forcing back the devil expert in front of them. This expert was a monster with devil Kai swirling around him. He had two heads, and his green fur covered his entire body. His bronze eyes were filled with an ominous light. Whenever he opened his bloody mouth, his sharp saw teeth were revealed. Just looking at him gave others chills. His devil Kai was raging. Not using a weapon, he simply blocked Yu Ziokian's attacks with his bare hands. However, her sword actually caused a clanking sound whenever it struck his body, as if it had struck metal. Even so, this two-headed devil expert seemed to be very apprehensive of Yu Ziokian's aura. Although her sword was unable to harm him, he didn't dare to press her too far. As for Xia Chen and Guo Ran, they were surrounded by countless experts from the demonic beast race, the blood race, the netherworld, and even the human race. The human experts included the assassins from the Blood Kill Hall and the Nine Underworld Hall, as well as the experts of the Sacred Pill Hall. Thousands of them were attacking Guo Ran and Xia Chen. Hence, the two of them were in a miserable state. There were two main experts, and they were all top experts as well. If they weren't supreme immortal kings, then they were divine venerates. It was exhausting. As the two of them had been fighting intensely for a long time, they started to find it hard to endure. Not far from the battlefield was a large red-haired man with a terrifying gaze. He was overlooking the battle coldly like a tiger waiting to catch its prey. His gaze was terrifying. If Long Chen was here, he would instantly recognize him. He was the Sacred Pill Hall's top genius, Yin Cheng Sheng. Yin Cheng Sheng had yet to take action. Instead, he simply led a group of people standing at the edge of the battlefield, seemingly waiting for something. Outside of the battlefield was an endless army of devil experts. They were forming hand seals and releasing devil Kai that condensed into chains that locked down this region. We have to leave while the heavenly devil hunting space formation is not yet fully formed. Otherwise, it'll be too late. You, Ziochian, eyed the chains covering the sky nervously. Sister Ziochian, don't worry. Boss is about to arrive. Zaya Chen shouted as his talisman glowed and repeatedly blocked the attacks of multiple experts. It's a trap. They are doing it on purpose. Can you not see? That red-haired person is waiting for Long Chen, said Yu Ziokian anxiously. Just now, when Yin Chang Sheng arrived, someone pointed to Zaya Chen and Yu Oran and whispered a few things to him. That was noticed by Yu Ziokian. Last time, Yin Cheng Sheng had suffered at Long Chen's hands. Long Chen had stolen the ice soul from him, and that was viewed as a huge humiliation to him. After that happened, he directly mobilized the entire forces of the sacred pill hall to search for Long Chen. However, Long Chen ended up running off multiple times. Even then, it had to be said that the sacred pill hall's power was truly enormous. Long Chen was famous in the violet flame heaven, so it wasn't difficult to learn about him. After that, even the people associated with him were quickly investigated. Now, unable to find Long Chen, they ended up targeting Xia Chen and Guo Ran. Xia Chen and Guo Ran had run over from Silver Moon City when they heard that the Devil Race was attacking someone from the original Devil Race. As soon as they came out, the Sacred Pill Hall's people followed and surrounded them. They then informed Yin Changsheng, who quickly arrived. Once Yin Changsheng arrived, he directly ordered for the three of them to be surrounded and not killed. What shocked people was that the devil race actually didn't dare to defy his orders. They began setting up the heavenly devil hunting space formation. Don't worry. As long as boss arrives, everything will be resolved, promised Guo Ran. His armorer's runes were already starting to dim. Having been fighting for too long, he had killed over ten divine venerates already, but his battle armor was running out of energy. 
However, his devil dragon battle armor was still very powerful. Even after fighting for so long, it wasn't the slightest bit damaged. Regretfully, there were too many experts, so he and Zaya Chen were powerless to bring Yu Ziaokian out of their encirclement. They could only endure and wait for Long Chen to save them. Ah, oh, how laughable. You're already turtles caught in a jar, yet you're thinking about leaving alive. Are you trying to make me laugh to death? Laughed that two-headed devil expert. He actually spoke from both heads, causing his voice to layer. It stabbed into people's ears like needles. Girl, we've hunted you for over ten days. I don't even know how many experts we have sacrificed. You can die happy. Tell me where your tribe is and I can spare you from the pain of the corpse devil soul refinement. Otherwise, you will have to suffer that pain and become my puppet. He he, as a tool to sate my lust. I don't know where to start with such a beauty. The two-headed devil laughed lecherously. Damn devil monster, if I was in my top condition, would you have the guts to have a direct fight with me? Yu Ziaokian clenched her teeth furiously. She repeatedly attacked, forcing him back some distance. When Yu Ziaokian arrived in the Three Thousand Worlds, her goal was to undergo her special tribulation. She had to fully awaken her divine seal on her forehead during this tribulation. Only then could she condense the original devil Racy's special heavenly Tao crown. The quickest method for awakening her divine seal in the heavenly tribulation was to kill more experts of the devil race, especially the more powerful heavenly geniuses. Killing them would rapidly awaken her divine seal. That was why you, Ziochian, had taken the risk of sneaking into the devil race's territory to undergo tribulation. As a result, almost everyone who underwent tribulation with her died, and only two people managed to pass. One was Yu Ziochian, while the other was this two-headed monster. During the tribulation, the two of them were fighting evenly, and neither side was able to suppress the other. But when the tribulation ended, and Yu Ziochian's divine seal lit up with holy light, that two-headed monster was immediately suppressed and forced to flee. However, the devil Racy's experts had also encircled Yu Ziochian in huge numbers during this time. They were even willing to use a self-sacrificial bloodline curse just to pollute the holy light of her divine seal, weakening her suppressive effect on them. After over ten days of hunting, the devil race's corpses littered the ground. It was unknown just how many of them Yu Ziochian had killed, but the devil race refused to give up and continued to chip away at her, grinding her down. As for the two-headed monster, after resting a bit, he also came back like a tumor, refusing to let her off, not giving her any chance to breathe. This battle had continued all the way until now. Damn original devil race, you should never have been born. Let's see if you can still act so aloof once I strip you of all your clothes. The two-headed monster roared furiously, and Devil Kai erupted from his entire body. He forcibly charged through Yu Ziochian's holy light, his claws repeatedly striking her. Yu Ziochian repeatedly blocked with her sword. However, after fighting for so many days, she was already exhausted. With one slip, her sleeve was torn off, and three bloody marks appeared on her skin because of the two-headed monster's long claws. Fresh blood then dripped to the ground. The two-headed monster sniffed his prize and smiled sinisterly. This is only the start. Slowly savor it. He once more attacked. Further away, Guo Ran and Zaya Chen were enraged. They pushed themselves to break free of the encirclement of the experts around them. Those experts were sent flying. However, both of them then let out a grunt as they smashed into an invisible wall. They were forced back. Faith energy. Zaya Chen and Guo Ran were both shocked. They then looked at Yin Cheng Sheng. Ah, oh, just then. The two-headed monster finally found an opening and reached a claw straight for Yu Ziogian's collar. 
Falkov! All of a sudden, thunder rumbled and a black figure appeared. When killing intent filled this entire world, a hand viciously slapped that two-headed monster's face. Chapter 3799 Chiang Boss Guo Ran and Xia Chen cried out in delight. That killing intent that caused the world to quiver and change color could only belong to Long Chen. Boop. Long Chen's hand smashed into one of the faces of the two-headed monster, and the latter was sent flying like a shooting star, smashing into the ground and leaving a giant hole. A giant wave of earth then surged in every direction. As for Long Chen, his gaze was icy with killing intent. His hair swayed with the wind, like a god of slaughter that had descended upon the world, one intending on slaughtering all the nine heavens. Long Chen, upon seeing him, Yu Ziaokian's eyes instantly became wet. This was the figure she had been thinking about day and night. She was finally seeing him again. Long Chen slowly turned over. Looking at the tears streaming down her face, his heart softened. Saiokian, I'm sorry. You had to suffer. Long Chen comforted her, his own voice being choked with sobs at the end. Since the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, they had been parted for what felt like forever. Now they were finally seeing each other again. This reunion that they had dreamed about countless times was finally occurring in reality, but it felt like it might turn into another dream as soon as they woke up. This kind of feeling was something others couldn't imagine. Although Long Chen was a peerless hero, a warrior unafraid of death in front of his lover, he was no different from an ordinary person. Yu Ziaokian shook her head hard, wanting to say something. But she found that she was unable to say a word, nor could she stop her tears. She could only use this method to express her emotions. Long Chen, I've waited a long time for you. Let's see where you can run to today. Just then, Yin Changsheng, who had just blocked Guo Ran and Xia Chen, charged over with his spear. Yin Changsheng's hatred for Long Chen had reached the point of it sinking into his bones. The current him was already an immortal king, and his faith energy was denser. Overall, his aura was many times stronger than before. As soon as Yin Changsheng's aura erupted, the temperature of the world rose and space twisted. It was vaguely possible to see countless flame runes flowing around his body as if prostrating themselves toward him. Yuo Ran and Xia Chen were both shocked. Although they knew that this Yin Cheng Shen was an exceedingly terrifying existence, they didn't expect him to be this terrifying. Even without his manifestation active, he forced back all others. Just then, the earth exploded and the two-headed monster came flying out. What shocked Xia Chen and Guo Ran was that even after being slapped in the face, there was no injury on it. There wasn't even a mark. Seeing Long Chen being pincered by the two of them, Yu Xiaopian instantly became worried. However, only Long Chen rubbed her cheek tenderly. That moving feeling made Long Chen's heart melt. Don't worry, just leave everything to me. Trust me. Long Chen smiled. The same sunlight from back in the day was still so warm. Yu Xiaokian nodded. She was still crying, but there was now a smile in her eyes. Long Chen's smile was infectious. She seemed to once more see the unrivaled Long Chen of back then. Chi Yang, get out of my way. This person's mine, shouted Yin Cheng Sheng. He wanted a solo fight against Long Chen to wipe away his previous disgrace. Who do you think you are? Just because I give your sacred pill hole some face, you think you can start giving orders. If you dare to interfere in my battle, I'll kill you as well, sneered the two-headed monster. Courting death, Yin Cheng Sheng was enraged. He was a peak expert, as well as the heir to the sacred pill hall's faith, so he was naturally more arrogant than others. He was enraged by anyone who dared to contradict him. Suddenly, his body shot forward. 
He wanted to eliminate Long Chen before Shi Yang. Trash, where do you think you're going? Just then, a lazy voice rang out. Following that, Yin Changsheng saw an unremarkable shovel smashing toward him. Who are you? Scram. Yin Changsheng was incensed. As his spear's runes lit up, faith energy poured into his spear and he stabbed it at the shovel. Boom. What shocked everyone was that this unremarkable shovel actually shook the very world when it clashed against the spear. Sparks flew. It blocked Yin Changsheng's attack without the slightest damage. A ripple then spread through the void, and Mo Nian's figure appeared. He simply rested his shovel on his shoulder, pointing his left hand at the heavens. With him glancing disdainfully at his opponent and his hair and robes fluttering around him, he gave off an image of an unrivaled expert. The limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Mo Nian. Yuo Ran and Zaya Chen almost couldn't believe their eyes. But when Mo Nian chanted this, Yuo Ran almost prostrated himself worshipfully. They looked at each other. Both his cultivation base and his poser arts had grown since their last meeting. Even this new verse was completely different, and it was definitely flashy. Anyone who heard this would have the urge to kill him. That was a true poser. Doesn't that sound familiar? There were some brain-dead people saying it in front of the city gates. Were they talking about him? So he's Mo Nian. He's being chased down by countless sects, but still manages to live a carefree life. He's the one digging up tombs, the one causing endless trouble. He is that fellow utterly devoid of conscience. He still hasn't been beaten to death. He has offended so many powers, but he's still alive. That has to be a miracle. There were quite a few human experts here. Whether it was the Bloodkill Hall, the Nine Underworld Hall, the Sacred Pill Hall, or the other humans, quite a few of them had heard of Mo Nian's name. Mo Nian was definitely hard-working. Many sects and powers had their ancestral tombs visited by him. Hence, he was detested by all, with all of them wanting to kill him. Although Mo Nian had not fought any huge battles, his fame was not small. His life force was so powerful that it was unbelievable. People simply couldn't kill him. For him to appear now and block Yin Changsheng, did he finally plan on having a proper battle? It had to be known that while Mo Nian was quite famous, it stemmed from infamy. The rumors were that his strongest point was his ability to flee. They had never heard of him possessing any amazing fighting skills. Hence, everyone was shocked to see him take a stand. So you are Mo Nine, a gutless grave robber. I heard that your ability at fleeing for your life isn't bad. However, in front of me, you'll have no chance at running away with your life. Yin Chengsheng instantly blazed with killing intent when he heard Mo Nian's name. He slowly pointed his spear at him, and flame energy began to saturate the air. A vast world locked onto Mo Nian. Chapter 3800 Immemorial Devil Corpse Me Run Away With My Life No, I'll be running away with your life. But then I'll have to bury you and prepare a funeral rite for you. That's so troublesome. Oh, I've heard your name before. You seem to be very famous, right? That's good. It seems that I've never had a proper fight with anyone yet. Today, I'll use you as my first battle in the immortal world. Mo Nian's body suddenly vanished. You wish to challenge me? That will be your final battle in the immortal world, sneered Yin Chengsheng. He didn't move. Without looking back, he stabbed his spear behind him. At that exact moment, Mo Nian's figure appeared behind him. Yin Changsheng was like a prophet, accurately predicting where Mo Nian would appear. Kyuo Ran and Xia Chen cried out in shock when Mo Nian was pierced by the spear. But directly after, Yin Changsheng's smile vanished and his body swayed. 
Regretfully, he was unable to avoid the shovel that appeared from an unpredictable angle. It smacked him in the face. Only then did Mo Nyan's figure reappear in front of countless shocked gazes. He chortled. But I'm allowed to brag. But if you brag, it'll be dangerous. Mo Nyan turned back and shouted to Long Chen, Leave this fellow to me. That two-headed idiot will be left to you. Mo Nyan once more vanished. When he reappeared, he had caught up to Yin Cheng Sheng and raised his shovel again. With another smack, both of their figures flew into the distance. Just then, Shi Yang charged at Long Chen, who was gently rubbing Yu Ziokian's cheek while smiling. Long Chen then gently pushed her toward Yu Ran and Xia Chen. When he turned back to face Shi Yang, his smile instantly vanished, replaced with endless killing intent. In that instant, black ripples appeared within his eyes. This was a sign of his killing intent going out of his control. In this life, the thing he couldn't endure the most was having his woman be injured. Seeing Shi Yang coming over, Long Chen's divine ring and starry sea appeared. Violet Kai soared into the heavens. Inferior human race, you don't have that woman's devil suppressing seal. You aren't fit to even carry my shoes. When Shi Yang's green fur began to flutter, a dark world appeared behind him. There seemed to be countless ominous eyes within this world, watching over everything. Previously, Shi Yang was sent flying by a slap from Long Chen because he was focused on Yu Ziokian and suppressed by her divine seal. But now that Yu Ziokian had left the picture, his aura fully erupted. The pressure he released was no weaker than Yin Che Sheng's. Furthermore, the aura of decay coming from his body made it seem as if even the laws of heaven and earth would be corroded. Now that Shi Yang could unleash his full power, he looked like a corpse that had crawled out of an underground tomb. An air of resentment poured out of him, as well as endless death energy. Long Chen, be careful. This person isn't alive. He's an immemorial corpse. He's a cultivator of the corpse devil, Dao and lives off of this dead body, shouted Mong Nian from the distance. Having lived amongst tombs for so long, Mo Nian instantly saw through this fellow's basic information, but everyone was all shocked. It was no wonder that Shi Yang's aura was so strange, so he was actually a corpse. But all of a sudden, an explosion erupted in the distance. Yin Cheng Sheng and Mo Nian's fight was finally reaching its climax. Yin Cheng Sheng had summoned his heavenly Tao manifestation and ignited his faith energy. As for Mo Nian, he had summoned the Limitless Palace manifestation and switched his shovel for a bow. Their full power attacks pierced through the void, and their figures soared into the sky. Their battlefield was actually above the clouds. You should worry about yourself. Let's see how you flee today. Yin Cheng Sheng's voice rang out from high above. Who do you think you are? Keep talking and I'll bury you, snorted Mo Nian. As they fought above the heavens, people couldn't even see their figures. They could only see terrifying ripples spreading through the air and the shaking stars. It was truly an intense bloody battle. Just then, Shi Yang reached Long Chen. His death kai crashed down, and green light flowed on top of his hands as he smashed a fist at Long Chen. The corpse devil race was once a major race in the immemorial era, an existence that could rank in the top hundred amongst the ten thousand races. But you ended up provoking the heavenly eye race, and after being cursed by the heavenly eye race, you become ants. Even now, you can only barely survive at the bottom rungs of society. Are you trying to stir up trouble again? It seems that the curse has lost its effect. However, do you think that your corpse, devil race, will have a chance to rise again? You are mistaken. As long as I am present, your devil race will never be able to rise. Golden scales with violet veins covered Long Chen's body. That was due to the violet kai in his body being too abundant. 
causing his dragon blood battle armor to once more be strengthened. Boom! Long Chen and Shi Yang's fists crashed together, causing a huge explosion. After that, a wild Kai wave blasted both of them apart. Their fists were almost like metal, and when they clashed, there was a metallic ringing. Their powerful physical bodies shocked countless people. Previously, they were already shocked enough to see Shi Yang receive a world domain divine item with his bare hands. They thought that such a physical body was already unrivaled. But Long Chen had actually drawn with him, meaning that his physical body had reached that level as well. How could they not be shocked? Anyway, with Mo Nian's warning, they now knew that Shi Yang was controlling an immemorial expert's corpse. If the corpse could be preserved to the point of not rutting even after so long, it must have once been an unimaginably terrifying expert. But Long Chen actually managed to match this expert's physical body. This clash that transcended eras was absolutely shocking. Furthermore, people saw a giant saber on Long Chen's back. Despite clearly possessing a weapon, he chose to fight barehanded. Clearly, Long Chen had his own pride. An ant's power. Even if your power was ten times greater, you wouldn't be able to damage this body. I'll show you just how terrifying a body from the immemorial era is. After clashing with Long Chen, Shi Yang sneered and shot back after him. This time, people were shocked to see a black halo appear around his body. His aura grew explosively. Could it be that such a terrifying attack was only a probing blow? Startled cries rang out. Feng Fu Star. Within Long Chen's starry sea, one star in particular lit up. It blazed like a sun, and Long Chen's power soared. He faced Shi Yang hand on with another punch.